Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest <laughs> Atari games. I'm a little bit concerned because the intro didn't play to us, but... Uh, did you hear it? Did you guys uh, hear it? Uh, anyone? I hope so. <laughs> it was uh, silent to us. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. The cats are confused. Are you confused? Yeah, they're like, we didn't no, hear the intro. Yay, they heard the intro. Okay, good. good. <laughs> that's what matters. Hi. Welcome to Zero Page Freak Homebrew, out. your best source for the newest Atari games mm. and cats and Tanya's. Lots of cats and me. I'm okay. not in a great place today though no. so no no d train how did yeah. you know i have coffee how did you know she had coffee she never drinks coffee, don't on, drink the coffee show. on the show <laughs> the one day she has coffee d train says tanya has coffee what how <laughs> how? how are oh you my hacking God. into our cameras now a secret mm. camera somewhere, D train. Oh mm. my god. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that's a little spooky. <laughs> creepy. Very creepy. <laughs> um, mm. On time means fully caffeinated. That must be it. Mm. Yeah. Today we're going to be playing the Atari 2600. Four games. Yeah. Uh, plan B Escape earth uh by artisan retro games and the developer is in the chat we're also gonna be playing mm. bruce lee by splendid Dunn. developers in the chat uh chaotic grill developers in the chat and stellar drive mars and we'll see if the developer comes in the chat yeah. <laughs> sometimes does um Sorry that Tanya's off her game today. I'm sick of myself. Yeah, oh, yeah. So she I, I had a to... migraine a little bit earlier today. So that's why I'm here, because I wasn't at yeah. work. And I was. I said to James, that's why it's a little darker on set. Because I, 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 just before we started, I said, can we turn off one of the lights? Because <laughs> it's a little bit much the sun for my brain right now. The sun down at So us. it is a little bit darker. Yeah, a little yeah. bit. But I'm here. And I'm conscious, so, you know. Good. <laughs> That's all I require yeah. of a co-host. Consciousness. You're in consciousness. Consciousness. Yes. <laughs> uh, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers who help support the show. They are uh, gently scrolling beside Tanya yes. down there. Gently. Just gently. Just, just in slowly, a, going, slowly up the going up the screen. Uh, eight, bit, names. 8 bit poet, Alan the Fur, Andrew Atari, Armscar, Coder, Atari, 1974, Atari, Jatari's Maximus, Beast, Supreme BR, Poco, Bruno Stax, Charles Stonemel, Charles Wheel and Chitla, Cubanismo, Sierra Naribo, DNO, Dan FC, Drexel, Dark Boot Cows, Amy Dan, Gangsock, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC, Kabuto Kenzo, Carl G, Carrick, Ha, Croco 2600, Velt for Lambda Express, Mark Hannes, Mark's Basic, Metal Atari, McMuse, Mike Solomon, Catal, Mc Miss Command, MK Smith, Mother, Mr. Fix, Neo Media, Nostalgic, Pseudographic, Korg 2600, Our Antwitz Rendered, Ghost, Repentless, VG, Revan, Tully, Ricardo Pim, Rodcast, Smitty B, Spice Horse, Spinley, S, Ramirez, D Train, Tiki Dan, KT, Foes, Track D, Tween, mm -hmm. Twinny, uh, Vex Rex, VR Gamer for Life, VVG Double Down, and X Ken X. Nice. And if you want to get your name added to that, you can hit subscribe and help support the show. If not, yes. just follow us and you'll know when we're on. Um, and you could subscribe just like Al Nefer. No, he did not. Yes, he did. Al Nefer did. And Mark Johannes and the D Train all resubscribe Yay. just before the show. Thank, thank, you, thank you, you so much. Let's uh, hear it one more time. No. Yeah. Yes, uh, <laughs> we did. Yes, we did switch to summertime. Yes. It is daylight savings. We had that on Saturday, like most of the rest of North America, I think. So. Yeah. So yeah. it's a. Uh, yeah, time has shifted <laughs> a little bit. I mean, still the same time for us. It's yeah. six o'clock, but. Things shift for other places in the world that don't observe uh, stay, daylight yep. savings time, like GMT. There's places in Canada, place in the U.S. Yeah, <laughs> it's weird. Um, I I got in introduced to it too because when we when we did our uh, New Year's Eve show, yes, we were going through South America and trying to figure right. out what time it was there, and that was all crazy daylight savings all across uh, the continent as well. It so, was all over the board, all over the place. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we do have a Twitch poll. It's mostly for developers, ah. but people who are not developers can chime in as well if they uh, know. Um, what is the one improvement uh, you would make to the 2600 if you could? Now, they were very cost conscious when they put out the 2600. It was mm. 1977. The, everything was really expensive in terms of computers. So... Um, they didn't they cheaped out on a bunch of stuff to keep mm. the cost low so these are some of the things that i think that wouldn't add a ton of cost but of course would mm. but would make life a lot better maybe mm. on the 2600 uh number one double the memory to 256 bytes it has 128 bytes which mm. is 
nothing. <laughs> Which is absolutely nothing. It's enough, but it's not much. Um, and and things have um, changed that. Even cartridges back in the day yeah. added Would more add RAM more, to it. Like RAM. the yeah. StarPath supercharger added um, six megs of RAM. A whole six megs. Uh, K, 6K, sorry. Not 6K. Like, I was like, Megs. That Ooh, that's 6K a lot. 6K of RAM. But, that, <laughs> but you had to share between RAM and ROM because okay. it loaded things onto that. Yeah. Um, next one is have double the play field memory. Hmm. So right now you have to, if you want to have something different on the left and the right, you have to write it to the left, then change it on the fly or before it writes it to the right hand side. And that's like literally three more bytes they mm. could have added to make that. So it would have been way cheaper than doubling the memory. Yeah. Um, perfect notes on the TIA. They just divided it up and it's random yep. notes. You just get cl as close as you can to what you want, right? So yeah. we would have had <laughs> better music on yeah. games. But it made it interesting. So it did. It did. <laughs> All these things present presented a challenge. A challenge, to yeah. yeah exactly. um, four, six, uh, 16-bit address bus. So that made for um, storage on cartridges and you had to do bank swapping and it only had 12, 13 address bus um, bits. So I don't know how much of a change that would make. I don't think that was super limiting, but it was it was a thing that they did cost cutting measures for the 6507. It's an alteration from the 6502. Mm -hmm. Have a star. Um, five. Uh, four eight-bit player characters. It has two. Four. It has two. Okay. Right now, so okay. you have to do um, flashing. Yes. <laughs> you yes. If you have more more characters hertz. on the screen. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you have to do some flicker <laughs> if you want more than two on the same line. Crazy. Yeah. So th I think that would be a huge one. Uh, I think all like one, two, and five are really big things, mm. and six other like suggest something. something Maybe something I missed, else, but yeah. I think those are the really, really big ones. Yeah, more players would also mean more colors and a lot less fl flicker. Yeah, yeah, you could combine characters on top of each other, and you could get more colors. The Detroit S are these all things that could have been easily done back in the day? Yes. Yes. So they could have they could a, have been a part of the system. It was a cost cutting mm. measure because other systems like I was. Looking at, oh, uh, what was the system? Anyway, there's another system that was um, released in 1977 as mm -hmm. well. And it had 4K of RAM in it. But you have to keep in mind, the 2600 did not have a frame buffer. And that's why um, the other, all the other systems needed more RAM to hold the whole screen at once. Like you would prepare the screen yeah. and it would just go boom yeah, and put it on the screen. Okay. 2600, you had to tell it exactly what you wanted on every line. Yeah. Uh, more player. Yeah. All these things could have been done. Uh, mm. Let's see. Higher play field resolution. You mean horizontally. Um, so that kind of goes with the 40 bits across. But yeah, 80 would have been a lot better or even 160 would have been amazing. Mm -hmm. And really... Just add a couple more bytes and you could have it. Yeah. Uh, two would help a lot with spite repositioning for asymmetric play fields. Yes. Yes, exactly. You could do much more complicated play fields. Um, was it the pressure cooker theme that a professional composer was hired for and told only using these notes? Yes, it was. It was um, Gary Kitchen said, hey, I want a song. Hey, thank you for resubscribing Vintage Gaming Memories. Ooh, look at that. 15 months. Fancy. I love it. Ooh, goes across <laughs> the screen. Uh, Channel F. It's not the one I was thinking of. Um, I can't remember what it was. It wasn't the Channel F. Uh, damn it. It's not coming to me. It'll come later when it's not relevant. Uh, uh, of course, 4 would require more expensive CPU. 6502 yeah. rather than 64. Yes, exactly. Too many bum notes. Yeah. Astrocade. That's it. The Bally Astrocade. Mm. I was reading about somebody posted about that day, today, and I was uh, somewhere. Yeah. And I was like, oh my god, it had 4K of RAM in it. And then I was like, thinking, oh yeah, of course, needed it for the screen buffer, mm. right? Bally's Astrocade. Yeah. Nice. Um, so most people are out? saying, oh, it's pretty even. There's quite yeah. everyone's four eight-bit player characters. Okay. Um, and like have double the play field memory. Yeah. Now, what would I want? I think you could do pretty good with, well, because double the memory to 256, that's been taken care of a little couple of years later. Yeah. 
Um, four 8-bit player characters. Oof. It's between two and five for me. Yeah. Is that because of the, be the so game good. you're developing right now? Is that uh, giving you Well, that you would help. Two, two would help. Two would help with your game? With, okay. Because I have um, asymmetrical play field. Oh, okay, so yes. So it be different than the left and the right. Yeah, and yeah, that would yeah. solve it. Yeah. But more player characters. But I'm also going to have Flicker in mind. Yes. So, so more player characters. More player characters would, would, would eliminate would the Flicker. Would make that easier, too. But I think the play field memory yeah. would help a little bit more mm. in my because flicker you know you can put as many as you want and we've seen what some people have been able to do with just the two characters like, yeah absolutely insane games yeah, yeah. yeah. astrocade also had built-in games oh, oh, it looks that's like cool. a pretty cool system i have too many i just i just can't get any more <laughs> what is the astrocade is that a big console it's, is it a similar it's, size it's a, console or uh, i don't know the size but yeah. it, it's it's a con console takes cartridges yeah yeah has little uh, hey crypto coffee hey, thanks, thanks for, the for the tip <laughs> <laughs> um had a i think like a dial a dial okay. on the top a little tiny dial for mm -hmm. like pong style games you know a paddle built in or maybe that's how you'd moved it i don't know i i've never i've never played one but it looks like it has some pretty decent games mm. i don't know how big the homebrew scene is for it Without two, currently I've put a blank line whenever sprites get repositioned. Irritating. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, you have to... Whenever you reposition a sprite, mm. you'd ha you have to have enough time and you have to position it exactly where you want it. And you have to tell it when it's at that position drawing. Yeah. So you can't be drawing the play field and repositioning a sprite too easily. It's it's a pain in the ass. Mm. It's terrible. Six hundred dollars on eBay for the Bally Astro Cave. Wow. Oh my god. Okay. That's. I mean, it didn't do as well as twenty six hundred. So, so therefore, there's didn't less sell of them. as many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's usually what happens. Collectible. Yeah, for yeah. asymmetrical. Well, oh, we're I wishing see. for double the play field memory. Let's also wish that it wasn't bit zero to seven in some positions. Seven. Oh yes. Yeah. I mean that's. Things are backwards and forwards, and I'm sure there's a great reason for that. But yeah. plus shipping, says so it's, it's cap. Yeah. Yeah, plus shipping. Top yeah. of the controller is potentiometer for paddle support, and ah. top the top it moves in all four directions. Single trigger for fire. Okay. The thing that there's a couple systems that mm. do that, where it's movement. Same with the channel F. It's movement and it's twisting at the same time. Okay. Like I haven't played with joysticks like that, but it would seem to me like when you're moving it would turn accidentally and be mm. a little weird to move yeah, yeah. polyaster cades are notorious for overheating mm. oh boy i saw uh it's kev say when you're asking about improvements yes. uh he said actual wood grain on the atari consoles Ooh. which which yes. i'm like yeah i'm sure someone somewhere has built like a wood atari uh, oh, enclosure 100 percent, like all With, like, wood. metal metal uh switches oh and... wood switches i'm sure oh, they went goodness. all wood that would be pretty fun actually yeah. <laughs> that would be pretty cool that would be pretty cool um so yeah uh people were asking about my game a little bit oh uh, uh, yes how's and, it going uh very well yeah actually surprisingly well yeah um so let's just take a look at the uh improvements i've done recently on it mm -hmm. and... again he's not giving away what the game is but no it's a secret it'll be revealed we, we on the will show. reveal it so what i did nice oh nice i want those what channel is that yeah from? <laughs> from gen x grown up oh there oh, you go very nice um so what I did since the last show, uh, Tanya pointed out that the player, cat base. the player, cat base? question mark, cat base? <laughs> so, we can't tell you anything. We'll see. We'll see. Um, that the player and the enemies mm. were a little squished and a little funny looking. Yeah. So I uh, improved it. Let's make that a little bit bigger. Better and larger player and enemy graphics and resize the play area accordingly. And you you agree it's much better now yes much better looking. yes the, the scale of it looks all correct now yeah. yes yeah yeah it's, it's it's it looks really good uh, i'm very happy and that's probably gonna be how i'm gonna leave it for now mm. um sub pixel player enemy movement for people that don't know what that is if you don't have sub pixel movement that means every frame you move one pixel okay or zero pixels. Or zero, yeah. Um, but sub-pixel means you can move half a pixel. 
Oh. And then add another half or a quarter, okay. and it'll move accordingly so when it's timed. So a little slower, or oh, when I mean, it's timed. I guess it's the time, time is different. It over. Okay, yeah, yeah. So that means you can scale the speed of your character. That makes sense, yeah. Um, properly. Like, it may not always move one, but you can keep track of it. So you move mm. three quarters of a pixel every frame. Okay. Um, you would move nothing, then you'd move one. And then you'd move. It would time it. Nothing. Then you'd move one, and then you'd move two. I okay. Think. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> and um, that just makes it available so that you can. Sh you can really scale the speed. Yeah. So if yeah. your game needs to get faster, you yeah. can easily just add a tiny bit more to the speed, mm -hmm. and you don't have to go. Oh my God, it's crazy. Yeah. It's uh, Nathan uh, Strum helping with graphics. No, nope, doing time. everything. Young time. Young my young own. Young. Oh, what it? What time is it today, little oh, fluffy cat? Oh, it's treat time, it's Carl treat G. Time. Thank you, Carl G. Oh, oh, let me close the door. Okay. <laughs> it's treat time for cats. Are you excited? Let's start the betting. Now okay. I can uh, use up the last. Minute. They do need treat time. Good call, Carl G. Yeah, can you they hear them are meowing. Eager for that. Okay, let's start up the prediction. All right. Start it up. Zero it out. Puss and bats time. Puss and bats. Start betting on your favorite cat. <laughs> We've got Sprite here and Atari here. Atari won last time. Can I you believe what a it? Good, good Atari. Yeah. yeah. But uh, Erlen wasn't here, so he still has not been on a show. <laughs> Where Atari is one, yes. Where Atari won. And oh. Erlen was supposed to be on that show. <laughs> yeah, I was on that show. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. So, there you go. Good. He had, he missed it. Just missed he it. He was just hungry enough. Um, yeah. So, the other thing I did is an advanced enemy movement. I can't really tell you what that means. Okay. <laughs> um, but now I, I can, means, yes. I can properly move the enemies. Good. Yeah. Good. And so the next thing I'm going to be putting in is collisions and playfield modification. That's that going to of, make it really feel like it's an actual a game. game. There's yeah. No points yet. No, but, but that's okay. You'll see things happening. Nice. And then also I have to do is animate the player and enemy. Right now they just move yeah. like static objects yeah. without animation. It's really weird. But yeah. Then add the scoring and the sound. Nice. And then I'm ready to reveal it on Yay! the show. I'm, I'm excited. Very excited about that. So everybody's queuing up for betting. Oh, oh across the board. Oh, Everything's a little bit covered. everywhere. Yeah, That's yeah. Good. Yeah. Oh, they're believing in Sprite yeah. today. Sprite is usually the winner. So for some reason, everybody bet on Atari. Last um, time. The big money was on Atari. And then and he and won. Then, and he won. Yeah. He, he responded. Like, I, He's like, I, I just okay, need a little I bit can, of faith. Yeah. I need a little bit of faith. A bit I of can do it. From the crowd. Well, and he found a bug. That's actually what happened. Yes. Atari, Atari Sprite found a bug and then got distracted. And then Atari, it. and we're like, what are you, what? I, we thought he had lost a treat. Yeah. No, there was a little bug on the ground and that just pff, bugs was... over, over treats oh, yeah. any day of the week, I guess. So. And it's all fair. You know, we didn't put the nope. bug there. The <laughs> there bug was no planted to bug. Be there. No got planted bug. Five bugs. seconds left. Yep. So we're almost done the bedding. Get my treats out. The bedding is closed. Okay. Are you ready, everyone? Does Tanya know what, ga what the game? I do know is? what the game is. I have seen um, as as James is going through it. He knows. She's, yeah. she's, she's I do. a consultant on it. <laughs> usually, usually it's Tanya that finds the bugs. Yep. <laughs> okay. Are you ready, cats? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Oh, nobody's hitting. Oh, and Sprite. Sprite, of course, is off to the races. You have to position yourself. There you there go. There you go. It's a very dull ring, but it was a ring. Yeah. It counted. It counted. Oh, very slight ring, but Sprite's ahead. 2-1 now. Cats are lined up at the gates. Atari, get your head in the game, buddy. Come on. What are you doing? He's like, what are you so he's slow? eating really slow. 3-1 for Sprite. Ring it. There you go. Don't stare at her. Oh, Bring my it. Gosh. Oh, my God. He's batted it right across the room. Four two. <laughs> it's going nuts. 4-2 for Sprite. You got to just, just eat it. He's not coming for it. Come on. Bring it. Come on, Atari. One Bring you, it. You almost got it. One of you it. has to actually hit it. Oh, missed. Oh, there. both of them got it. Both oh, yeah? Them got it. Okay. Yeah, it was very small, but he got okay. it. Okay. I will give him that. 5-3 for Sprite. Come on, Atari. You could do it. Atari. You... Go back to your bell. Dude. Come on. Oh, it's a sprite. Bring your bell. You get the treat when you're... You know it. You know how it works. Six, four. You can still make it. You can still do it. Uh, I don't think so anymore. Seven, four. Well, if you do strong rings and don't bat it across the room and eat quick, 
You could catch up. Come on, go back to your bell quick. Oh my God. Eight, five, not working. There we go. Eight, six. Okay, come on. No, he's got two more points. And he's, oh, it's game point. Sorry, Tari. All you can do is get extra, extra points. Come on, hit it harder. There you go. Nine, six. Ow. Right on my foot. Nine, six. Nine, seven. Nine, seven. And oh, oh we got, got one, one more in. in. Nine, eight. Good show. Staved off. Oh, game 10, point. Eight. Okay. Okay. Just kind of got in there. I will get rid of the bot. Yes. <laughs> do, 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 do. And the band hammer comes down. Bam. Bam. And so uh, Atari was able to stave off a three-point lead. Yes. So it so was that changes uh, things. not quite a three. No. So let's dole out the points. And Atari beats the spread. The bookies go he, up. <laughs> he does. All right, kitties. Well, actually, Ooh, lots yeah. of bets today. Actually, lots of bets. Atari so it was with Sprite, Sprite with two with points. Two. So let's see who got the big points. It was Atari 800 XL Ooh, rules. Good job. Oh, Twenty-six thousand. Ooh, big points today. Wow, Between twenty-six thousand. Between four. Yeah. Yep. So Atari 800 XL rules and three others. Congratulations. Nice. Good job, people. Bookies go wild. <laughs> okay. So let's go back to our main screen there. Um. Yeah, so the the game is going well. Um, my my goal was the end of the month nice. to job, finish Dan. it off. Yep. And uh, I definitely will. You think so? Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think so. Good, As good. long as there's no more stumbles, I, it's going very quickly. Um, and there's lots of code examples on Atari Age and other places that I can refer to if I'm like, oh, how do I do that exactly? And people have had optimized programming you know, in assembly for, for each of the things that anybody would ever want to do, mm -hmm. which is good. So when did I start on this? Not that long ago, just after the uh, the, the February, awards. February 27th. Right? Just was, after the awards. Yeah. Yeah. A couple of days after the awards. So February 27th yeah. is when I started actual coding. Yeah. Yeah. So not that bad. Not bad F at finish all. Finish off the base game, assuming the finished product will take 80% more time. Yeah, it's I mean, usually there, the case. <laughs> there is a lot more after this. Yeah. Because um, I want to put, um, let's see, go back to this for a second. You want to put all the all the, the bells and whistles and, and the, the, yeah. the shine on it, right? I want to add the end. some color to it. Yeah. A bit more color. I mean, yeah. it'd be fine without it, but I do want to add some more. Um, Flicker code. Um, mm -hmm. For something specific, I, if I have enough time, I might add that in. Okay. Before I show it, because right. that'd be really, really good. Yeah. Uh, a game start, a uh, game over screen, just something to indicate rather than I don't know stopping the play or yeah. I don't know what it, yeah. I'll have to do. And a, like a yeah. title screen and a track screen, all yeah. the all the nice niceties that go. Yes, along it will. That. Ivory Tower Collections. James has already yes. sworn it will be. <laughs> oh yeah, nothing. The switches mean nothing to me. Yeah. And I've been. <laughs> <laughs> and I've been developing with um, Stella on developer mode. Yeah. So I know if there's timing issues or mm. bugs that are going to really have a trouble. I haven't actually played it on the 2600 yet. Mm. Um, probably when I do the next couple steps, then I'll throw it on the 2600, an actual console. Yeah. And then see if there's see any how... weirdness, because yeah. my console is a little bit weird. Well, then, then you'll find there's out right away. There's some timing issues <laughs> with mine yeah. that I may have to adjust, but... Those timing issues are compensated for in Stella, I believe, so it should be fine. A plus card high score? Yeah, I'll put that in for sure. Nice, nice. Yeah, I'd love to put that in, actually. Yep. Got to get a, a score on there first. But <laughs> yeah, I'll have to put score <laughs> well, we'll in the get game there. first. We'll get there. And yep. uh, I, I believe it's pretty simple to do that, um, to inject the code in uh, for oh, a high score. Oh, for the because, high score club? Because yeah. people have gone back and added it to uh, classic games. Oh, okay. Without the source code, I believe. Okay. So cool. it's not too bad. And um, let's see, it's a 4K game, mm -hmm. and I should be able to keep it under 4K. Good, yeah. Um, I'll have to clean up my code a bit. There's a bit of redundancy here and there, but I'm going to uh, I'm gonna make a mess first, and then I clean it up. That's, well, that's what I've been doing. Mess, enough. clean up, mess, clean up. Yeah. yeah. Well, 40 bits of code. Oh, 40 bytes. 40 bites. Bits. Bits, No, bites. he corrected himself. 40 bites. Bites. Okay, I mean, sorry. in the scheme of things, that's not that bad. No. Yeah. 
Um, I'm sure it's after a game is finished, then you send mm -hmm. the information of your score um, to the to the servers. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Um, so let's get into the first game, which is Plan B: Escape Earth. And uh, this was originally posted as a demo game, but okay. today got updated. Uh, updated to the full game. He posted oh, the full awesome. game awesome. on the Atari Age forums. Nice. This is by Michael Scott Back Backman. Bachman uh, is known as Mike at A E. I. I'm assuming Bachman 50, right? Ba Bachman M 50. Yeah. Ba Bachman M. There we go. Uh, who's from our Arizon Retro Games. And uh, it's a 32K game, other game. The other game he's made is Fox Hunt Arena, which was a very fun game that we played on the show as well. Um, so I've got the manual here. So I'm going to boot it up and get it ready. Nostalgic 26 says, Escaping Earth sounds really good right about now. <laughs> <laughs> but where would you go? Are you? And there's Thank not you. very many hospitable places around the universe at the moment. <laughs> so, oh. Um, you have to go up. There you go. Down to today's date. No, today's date. I don't know what today's date is anymore. Well, that's the only date on there. Uh, Plan B, Escape Earth. Yes. Plan B. And... Oh, not the manual. That one. That one. Okay. Yep. Plan A didn't pan out exactly. Nice. Here they come down. Ooh, look at that Earth. Ooh, Very nice. That you can looks actually good. see Finland. Is it Finland? On the oh, it's gone. <laughs> oh, this oh, is me. Okay, so uh, you Do have to I shoot, shoot that guy at the top, and you also have to get bricks on the left and right side, and then you push up um, to place the bricks where he shot a space. See that space on the left? Far left, when you've lined it up, you push all the way up. No, nope. you have to have it lined up. There you go. Push all the way up. Nope. Nope. Push. Push all the way up. Push up. I don't understand. There oh, you go. All the way up. Okay. Yes, all the way up. Keep pushing. So he will shoot uh, your defenses away, and the guys at the bottom are trying to make them make their way to escaping Earth. So it's kind of a mix of Space Invaders and Oink. Uh, you know, oink with the um, wolf that's getting rid of all your bricks of your pig house. It's kind of like a mix of that. Scandinavia for my wife. Ah, yes. Okay, Earth oh is doomed. Oh my god, why is this guy so hard? I, I hit him immediately. There we go. He sped up. Where's the bricks? Is, oh, they're on it either side. Yeah. Uh... So it'll start destroying your city if you um, if he gets through. Oh my gosh. Earth is doomed. Can anyone be saved? And who will save them? Months ago, Earth's planetary defenses detected a large swarm of objects racing past Neptune on an apparent trajectory towards Earth. Asteroids? Comets? People and politicians around the globe argued, but the military knew who, no. what was coming. They had seen these objects before, turned them apart, and dissected them. This was an alien invasion. Oh, we've got some big gaps now. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on! Like, he's... He's definitely shooting faster than you can rebuild. He's shooting super fast. And he comes fast. faster than... Like, he comes back really quick, too. Uh, Stop it! There. there we go. So it's really kind of just plugging the dam while it's breaking. <laughs> yeah, that is a good way to describe it. So you've got ten, ten little dudes across. Ugh. Oh! oh. Oh, nice. Okay. Lift off. Nice. Into space. Oh, the strategy changes. Sector to one saved. Kind of. <laughs> I don't think I did a very Ooh. good job. Ooh, what are all these? Little guys. and Okay. Uh, and they were prepared. Using what they learned from secretly shot down UFOs, the scientists developed amazing new weapons. Uh, technologies they thought would fend off an attack. They knew what was, uh, was coming for us. What is this thing? Oh. Oh, more. Oh my god! Oh, it's coming! Kill it somehow! Run over it! Ah, I don't know how to do that yet! Oh my god, do you have to drop it? Does he hurt me? Eats the guys! He eats him! How do I... Oh my god! I have to read ahead. That's an invader. And... 
Invader, invader, invader. Invaders. How do you kill invaders? Oh my god. Invaders can be killed on the way down and well on the ground. You'll figure out how. Oh my god. Uh, on the way down. There! That's... And on the ground. Maybe I'm not use sure the how blocks. on the ground, but anyway. Drop the brick on him. Oh, you oh, so you lift it up down? and drop it. Oh, get him! Ah! Nope, he's dead. He got absorbed. Okay, I'll continue. It's Sir. easier to get them. Um... The curve on the yellow section is nice. Yeah, it's a slight curve using the play field. Uh, as the aliens passed Mars, it was no longer a debate what was about to happen. The military rolled out its shiny new machines and launched intercept rockets armed with new powerful ah. energy weapons. Enough to destroy anything in their path, or so they believed. But alien ships have advanced tech as well and were prepared. Drop a brick on them. There! Oh, nice. We need the bricks up here. <laughs> Oh, what happened? I don't know. It shot the... Shoot it! Shoot it! Shoot it! Oh. <sighs> Sometimes you get him. No. Oh. The guy, he Absorbed. has no... Drop it! He has no... Oh. Oh. Go down. Go down. <gasps> you got shot. Ugh. <laughs> oh, he's eating them. Right where he appeared. He was camping. Yeah. Mm. Uh, but the alien ship, blah, 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 plan B. The military rolled out its best defenses, erecting force fields over every major metropolitan, metropolitan area. They placed air defenses, tanks in every city, and just in case, escape rockets that could save just a handful of the very lucky. Uh, some will have to stay behind to defend the city long enough for humanity to have any chance of surviving. Will you be the hero and help humanity escape her? Oh, next rocket goes into space. <laughs> Great Very job, cool. Backman says. Drop the brick on him. <laughs> Drop it. So let's see how it's many like you saved. Too. A few. Eh, 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 eh. Oh, you get points for um, shields. Yeah. Oh my God, it doesn't stay on the screen long enough. <laughs> you should put a, um, a pause there to press the button. Oh, another dude. Oh my God, what does he do? Don't know. So that guy is ah! an alien fighter. Oh, you just gotta, you know, you gotta shoot him says you might need to sacrifice a citizen to the invader to repair the field or avoid the laser or concentrate on the cannon. Thank you for volunteering. You'll be quickly trained and assigned to a mobile armor railgun. Your marg is loaded with 60 high explosive surface to air missiles. Oh, you can run out. Oh, see, they have 43 left. So you can't just be going shooting willy-nilly. Ah, oh. right into him. So do you lose? Does that just stun you for a second? Oh, getting ready. There you go. Wow, very cool. Uh, note that releasing all the energy... Oh, raise them up to the city defense shield or repair holes in the force field. And those are energy containment modules. Note that releasing all that energy can cause ripple effects. If not fully untested, maybe this can add to your fighting power somehow. Oh my god. Oh my god, they just keep coming down. This guy. Oh, he made it. Oh no, he didn't make it. His tentacles reached for him on the ladder and pulled him down. What? Oh, it doesn't affect the human. No. Okay, that's good. Oh. Wow. Oh, he's eating them! Oh, no. It's hard to get everything. Oh, he could have dropped another one. Be warned, the city can only sustain eight hits before the radiation is too high and the ship must take off. Oh. So, that guy hits the ship, hits the city, eight times, and it's over. Oh, you have no bullets left. Oh, then it's done. Oh, that was not a good round. <laughs> Hit the saucer while it's... Uh, firing. firing? Oh. You have four tanks. Oh, it's just not mm. showing on the screen. Meh. Did I save any people? Or I saved yeah, a couple. Yeah, you saved a couple. Uh, oh my god. Oh, there's, now there's two, two of, them. of them! Wow. Oh boy. Now we're in trouble. Ah, oh, he's eating him. Okay. 
Let's read some more. Come save on. as many people as you can. If you save at least five citizens of the city, you will get a new Marg and be sent to defend another city. So you've got to save at least five. Oh my god, what is that thing? Don't know. Oh, oh. my god, a new thing I have to look at. There's too much going on here. That is... Uh, I can't find it. I don't know what that was. Ramps up quickly, yeah. Relentless attack. Hit the laser with a brick. Oh, the thing that was in the center. You have to hit oh. it with a brick. Oh, no. Oh, oh no! That what the bad. heck? That was bad. That wasn't fair. Did you get a new life every level? Drop a brick on Oh, oh my no. god. Oh, I'm, oh, there's your, I'm dead. Oh, there was your oh. lives at the left. Are you dead? Oh, you get an yeah, extra one. I think so. For filling a ship. I didn't fill a ship. I think it's just the end oh, of the level. Oh, it just took it off. Took yeah. off. Oh, you saved sector four. You might. What was the red? Well, that's how many bullets you have left. The only thing I can spot is the flicker on the brick when it's picked up. Sometimes other this, otherwise the screen looks perfect. Oh, the flicker on the uh, yellow bricks, you mean? That's intentional. Uh, it changes from green to yellow. Because I looked, because uh, I was lo wondering about the flicker on the um, defense shield as well. Oh, oh, get him, get him, get him! You saved him. I don't think so. No? You think you a new one came? Oh. <laughs> no, the black brick when you pick up on the left, it appears to the right of the ship. Oh, okay. That's interesting. I don't know why that would flicker. What is that thing? Oh, it, uh, it turns That's into a, a person. power shots. So you have to pick, oh, pick that I? up. Do I have to pick it up? What is the power shots? Oh my god, there's so much going on in this game. Uh, left and right, yeah. Touch the ECM to attach it in tow. Yeah, ECM. Uh, hold Dead. up to raise up. That didn't last very long. <laughs> Let's fire to rail gun. If you're hit, remember the armor can only take four hits. <sighs> Difficulty switches are not used. Black and white will pause. Restart, reset will restart the game. That has to be my death. That red thing can't be good. Uh, What's the red thing? I don't know what the red thing is. You're dead. You're Power hurt. shots. Yeah, that's what mm. I figured. Yeah. Press the fire button well in the soon. end screen to restart the game. Couch compliant. ZPH. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, points increase in later cities. Yeah. Okay. So there's the points. You get points for everything. Yeah. Various points. Most points for people save. So really, you want to save the people. You want to like huge yeah. points. Yeah, 500 points for that. So. Alien cannon is the next big one. Yeah. Um... So, I'll play. You sure. read out the tips. Tips. Okay. Your game is not couch compliant. But it, but it is couch compliant. <laughs> but it compliant. is. <laughs> I'll, have to, I'll have to make one for couch compliance. Yeah. Okay, first I'm going to add couch compliance to this because it is. Very nice. Um, you have a couch compliant little symbol? Yeah, what's we do? There you go. It nice. is couch compliant. Oh my god, i got to restart. No, I'll, I'll play. Yeah, it, it just started. You should be okay. It's not too bad. Level, level one's level fine. Level one's fine. Okay, here at Artisan Retro Games, we think exploring and finding little secrets is all part of the fun. But if you want some head start or spoilers, read on. Oh, okay. Okay, well. the human can keep pace with the invader until he has to climb the ladder. Make sure he is out front enough. If he is, maybe don't worry about the chasing invader yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, the one so on the he, as long as he's far enough away. He's fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the fighters laser amplify their power from the she shields. They cannot fire outside the city. So if you're on the edges, then it's okay. Okay. I don't you know. Can if protect shooting... yourself on the edges. The though. guy that's shooting your defense shield, he arrives so quickly and fires right away. I don't know if it's worth like shooting him. Oh, like... I, I, you get points for him. I've shot True. him. True. Because you get you get a bit of respite if you shoot him tiny bit, but it's so hard because he's moving so fast. You get some respite there. Okay. Um, while raising the ECM, if you find you're off a bit, let go before it reaches the force field, reposition yes. and try again. Yeah. Yes. If you you kill learn the, that really quick. <laughs> if you kill the fighter while its laser is firing, 
it can get stuck in the force field. What would happen if you added more energy to it? Interesting. I didn't try that. That was when it was sparkly in the force field there. Because I killed it while it was firing its laser. Sorry, can you read that again or explain it to me? Okay, the fighter, which has the laser beam that comes down. Oh, okay. If you kill it while it's firing, I noticed it left behind a little yellow bit, a sparkly oh. bit. And it said, oh, if you add more energy, well, let's see what happens. So I don't think I managed to do that. Interesting. But um, if that comes up, shoot it. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yeah, says Bachman. Um, get to the power missiles before the next human makes a run for it. Okay. But watch out for the laser. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see you get any of those. I, so. I, 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 I went on top of it, but you must have to push down or something, because I don't think... It's so hard to position these. They're so Oh, they are precise. hard to position. Yeah, they are. Um... The, f the fighters need to fly away from the force field before they can recharge. That's your time to get out of the way. Okay. Invaders can be killed on the way down and while on the ground. You'll figure out how. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then you might need to sacrifice a, cit a citizen to the invader to repair the field or avoid the laser or concentrate on the cannon. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so it hard to hit. Ah! He comes lower and lower. Yeah, but and in the meantime, my city's getting just demolished because he's just firing while I'm firing at him. With a brick, not a missile. That needs needs that extra energy. Oh, so shoot the thing with the, with the brick. Okay, I'll try that if it comes up again. The thing in the middle of the screen? No, the, the flashy yellow thing. I think that's what... Um... Sorry, you, do you shoot... The extra sh power shot with the brick, or are you talking about when you shoot the fighter and they leave an, an energy on the uh, shield? Maybe the brick. Oh, that would the make brick sense to the get brick. the energy. Yeah. Yes. Maybe it'll refresh the whole uh, force Ooh, field. Ooh, that would be good. These guys, are, those squid guys, are relentless. Oh yeah. Not yet for me. It's nice when they come down where the brick is, because then you could do double duty. You know, yep. Oh, well, you're doing well. So, did you take any influence from Oink for the um, for the the, the, the bricks? <laughs> ah, because that's uh, looks like an influence. Raise a brick when the laser is trapped in the shield. Okay. Never played Oink. Oh, really? It's. Uh, I think you might like it if you made this game. He is. Ah. He is easier to shoot when he's close. I. Well, no. he's. He'll really start destroying the force field. He's right at the force field True. now. Yeah. So at a certain point, you do kind of need to shoot him. Yeah. So he gets really close. Got him. Nice. Nice. You. Let that human. Although every time you shoot him, he seems to get faster. I know. That's. But he gets faster if you don't shoot him, too. Oh, okay. He's just generally fast. Doesn't hurt you, though, does he? Don't the think so. Guy. I think you've got all your lives still. So you can, like, go right up against him if you're worried about him getting down. Oh, after five humans are saved, it's he speeds up. That makes oh, sense. Oh, okay. So, so it's, it's, it's just it's going to happen. It's as you progress, yeah. Ah! So you always want to try and fill the double holes. Yeah, definitely, because your 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 city, city is getting destroyed. The city's on fire. Ah! Off you go Yay, into space. Good stuff. Save Mary has the same problem when positioning when you drop bricks. Mm. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. It's it's not unfair. It's just challenging to get the bricks in the right spot. But you don't lose them. You can always recall them, and I yes. think that was really smart. Um, a smart um, way to kind of counteract the difficulty of positioning the bricks. This is nightmare mode now. It is with everything. Yeah. yeah. Good job. I'm trying. Damn it. Yeah, you do have to watch. You have to dodge those fighters. They really... 
And when they get start getting close, that's when they 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 laser. Oh, so when they're up in the air, they it's... they don't. But when they get start getting close to the shield, that's when the laser comes down. No, leave them alone. There. Oh, so much to do. There's so much happening on the screen at the same time. No. No, 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 my human. You guys are kind of slow right now. <gasps> there. Oh, it Destroyed everything in the sky. Oh, it doesn't refresh, but that's, but that's cool. That's that's really cool effect. It's that's like really a, cool. A bomb. Yeah. Nice. Nice. nice really effect. nice. Like that. Oh my God. Got No, 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 no. Sometimes no. it's just really bad time. I got him. I got him. Yeah. Ah, no, 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 no. Oh my God, just keep on coming. Nope, nope. Oh, get out of here. Yeah. Oh my God, it's out of control. <laughs> Use a city to line yourself up. Yeah, yeah. Oh. The, the the pixels in the city with the pixels and the mm. bricks at the top. Oh, that was not a very good score. I um, see. I much. see. Okay. Now you've got two. Two fighters. Oh, uh -huh. right into the laser. So what does that do? That Oh. That's a power <gasps> shot or something. Oh, I get to keep it. It's faster. Oh, my God. I probably lost it. No. Oh, I lost it. So it only works for a couple shots. Oh, it's so awesome. Oh. Get rid of the squid! No! No! My, no. Oh, oh, it did! It did. Oh, Good. oh I got an extra shot, too. Yes! Handy. That's Very super handy. Very nice. Very nice. Wow. Awesome game. I love how there's so much going on. There's just like, so much going by on. Level, by level, by um... level. No! Can I get it? Can no, I get it? Can he I can. Get it? Oh, damn You're it. okay. You're okay. I was wanting to clear out everything, though. Yeah. The orange laser is a nice texture. Yes. Oh, when uh, it's shooting down. Yeah, it does have a nice texture. Oh, no, no, no. Leave him alone. It is so oh, hard. Oh, it's going to be bad, this one. Oh, no, you've gotten f seven guys so oh, far. Okay. I think you've done quite well, actually. So all you need is five. To get My to the city. next level? Is that how it works? I see you on fire. <gasps> Damn it. Oh, what? The... Oh, I don't know what's going the on. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Crazy. <laughs> the backgrounds are really beautiful, too. This, the color. Um, 14,600 is his max score. Mm. What? No way. <laughs> You're at 67.9. Pretty good, then, that I guess. That's pretty good. Oh, I can't imagine what's going to happen now. Is there an end to the game? I think that was the extra live sound. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. It's a chunky, oh, it's a chunky cannon. It. Oh, I didn't get the bonus because oh, I died. Oh, 146,000. Oh, that okay. makes a little bit more like, sense. Mm. Like, that's a little low for the developer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, come on. Oh, no. It happens. Nothing. <gasps> Oof. I'm going to make it if I uh, keep 
dying like this. <gasps> Damn it! Oh, my oh, foot. No. Oh. it. It's like Atlantis with mu more mundane tech, tech for, for defense. defense. So, so Atlanta. Atlanta. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of Atlantis. It's so hard to shoot at an angle. Mm. Not oh. bad for my first game, I think. Ooh, so close to 100,000. Still going? Still going. Oh, what? You oh. have you have like seven lives. You have what? a ton of lives. I think oh. you've gotten extra lives. Oh, wow. Okay. I will keep going. Or four lives. But still, you've got lots of lives. Lots of lives. Oh, uh, oh my god, it's so short now. Oh. Ah. <laughs> uh, super great. Yeah, you're doing really well. Oh, there's so much going on in this game. It's crazy. You are safe in the corners from the lasers. Oh, you are? Yeah. Yes. So if you're running away from them, you, you can... just go to the edge. Um, that was in the tips and tricks. Oh, Get him! No! Oh, 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 oh no! He just didn't. has to have a taste of him and he's dead. Oh, spiders. Oh my god! Ah, oh, no, no! <sighs> oh, oh my god. It's brutal. Get in there! <laughs> Quick! Yay! <laughs> Yay, one guy. Oh, three. At least the laser doesn't kill the, the guy. You should be okay. Oh! That's it, I oh, think. No. I think that's it. I didn't get five. That was awesome. Oh, well, thank you for joining thank you for us, joining Maynard. Us. <laughs> that's pretty late. 2 a.m. is pretty from late. From the UK. Ah, uh, that's why it's so late. That makes sense. 121? Yeah. Oh, I didn't get... Oh, no, I'm still going. <laughs> What the hell? Game over? No, it's not. I guess I had got five. Did guys? you get five? Oh. Oh my god. Oh no! Oh my god, this is so brutal. What's killing me is these. That. That's what's killing yeah, me. Yeah, they get you right away. Get him. Yeah. I gotta just. so satisfying. Ah, no. Oh, it it's, goes it's so short only now. Only lasts for like... Oh, no, you can oh. get it. Oh, it's when the guy lasers, it disappears. Oh. When the fighter lasers, you're you're kind of screwed at that point. Oh, that's why it disappeared and, and disappeared so quickly. Stuff's on fire. Oh, you got five guys though. Yeah, as long as you get five guys. Woof! On to the next good level. You're good to go. <laughs> you are a player. Yeah, I'm I'm adequate. <laughs> I'm an you're adequate getting, player. You're, you're getting the five dudes. That's all you need. 135. What 146. Is that red? What is that red? Did we figure oh, out? Oh, bullets left because I died so oh. quickly. I got huge bonus for oh, those. Oh, for the bullets remaining. So that's the uh, tactic. Die quick. <laughs> really now it's all about just saving the humans so you can make another make it to another day well you get 500 points oh my gosh it's so fast yay two. Oh, you got the, the good shot yep. for at least a little while Oh, it's so hard. <gasps> Come on. Oh, Stop coming block down that the hole side. if you can. Yep. The hole? All right. Oh, that's a big hole. Oh my god, no! Oh, it Four. got him. You got him. You got him. Get out of here. Oh, get it. Yeah! Yes. Woo! Oh. 
Oh, and it just, just yeah. destroyed that guy. Good. Got five guys. That's all I needed. Get to the next level. Oh my god, they're relentless. Oh, oh almost. New high score! Da, 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 da. Yeah! Please. Fight cat. Fight cat. Fight cat. <laughs> Sector fight. eight. Woo, look at that! 200,000! Woo! Ow! <laughs> Quarter of a million points. Oh my god, everything's so fast! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, I'm dead on this level. There's just no, there's no chance. There's just no chance. At least these octopus guys aren't speed sped up. Well, the problem is, is when they land on that side. No! Get him! Oh, just, just missed him. Yep. He touches him, it's he's dead. It's going to be hard. are there it's insane <laughs> i guess it's only two but it seems like uh Damn it. no i didn't no, make you it didn't make five I, didn't, I think that was three yeah <laughs> definitely allergic to water <laughs> splash water on me no you didn't yeah you only made three good hot look at that score though quite look happy at... with that quite Excellent. happy with that, that 265 300 nice nice Wow. Awesome. Wow, what a game. That is an amazing game. Wow. <laughs> I yep. I think this there is a good game thing. If you want to trigger it, there is a good there's a good game that I put in there. For what? For uh some points to trigger it. Oh, I see. Nobody's done it yet. But I think that was that was worthy of it. Well you can you can draw um, people's attention to it. There you go. Yeah. Um and um he was wondering if uh it should be put on cart, and I think it should I be. I think it'd be an awesome cart game. I can There's picture a lot going on. the art. Oh, did you create that art, or did that art come with the... Oh, uh... he created that art. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. beautiful. 100%. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nostalgic. <laughs> uh, uh, it's gorgeous. Yeah, great it's job, really nice. Michael. Um, <laughs> absolutely amazing. Yeah. Um, I think this does deserve to go on cart. It can stand right alongside all the classic arcade yes. style Atari games. Yeah, yeah 100%. For sure. Okay, it looks time fantastic. to move on to the next game. And thank you for right. sending over and releasing the full version yeah. uh, today for the show. Um, good timing for that. So. Let's get to the next game, which is Bruce Lee, which is a very early build okay. of Bruce Lee, but I wanted to check it out because Bruce Lee is actually before that. Oh, before that. Ah. We're going to take a little look at all the Bruce Lees on all the different platforms that have okay. been released. A lot of Bruce Lees out there. Yep. Um, so. Let's take it. This is from uh, Retro Sutra. Okay. Let's just mute it. And take a look at... First, it came out on the Atari 8-bit. It's it's a... We played a um, sequel, unofficial sequel on the Atari 8-bit somewhat recently. Played it all the way to the end, I yes, believe. Yes, yeah. Because, oh my God, this is one of my favorite games. It's just so cool. You jump, you run around. There's two guys that are coming after you most of the time. You have to collect lanterns throughout many, many, many levels. Um, and I played it on the C64, um, which doesn't look much different from the Atari 8-bit version. The colors a little bit different because you have a very small selection of colors on the Commodore 64. Um, but it plays exactly the same. Mm. And... Um, it also came out on the PC, which looks looks good on the PC. Mm -hmm. On the Apple, a little, little janky. Yeah. Not many colors. Not many colors. No. Yeah. It looks like an Apple. Yeah, it looks Apple-y. Yeah. <laughs> uh, NEC PC-80. Ooh. That's crazy looking. Okay. I don't know if there's a filter on that or... 
It looks Why the very pixels pixelated. So yeah. I don't know that's that system. That's a I think a Japanese system. NEC PC eighty eight eighty. Uh Fujit Fujitsu Micro Seven FM seven. Um very vertical liney. Uh but they all look all pretty good. Oh, the ZX Spectrum. The ZX Spectrum, yeah. <laughs> Always funky looking. Yeah. Uh, then MSX, which should be pretty decent. Uh, it plays That's a little greens. slow. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that leg. Look at that flickering. <laughs> Lots of flicker. Ooh, I'm flying. But, flying uh, through the, the air. screen doesn't look too bad. Nope. Amstrad CPC. Oh, that looks pretty good. That looks good. BBC Micro. Oh, what happened to Bruce? <laughs> oh, Yamo. Yamo thinned up a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's so fast, too. Oh, funny. Yamo's been taking Ozempic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is for PC DOS. That looks pretty good. Also, there's two PC. Oh, IBM PC Junior in mm. DOS. Okay. And then a new remake, which I'm not a fan of this style of look. Um, but that's a new one. That doesn't, yeah. doesn't count. Not quite the same. No. Okay. So uh, let's take a look at the new version which is uh this one was posted today an update to it so it was perfect timing obviously splendid nut was keeping track of when the show was as well so this is by splendid nut philip blackman uh he first posted about this february 14th uh 2024 so let's uh restart mm. this i don't know if we can restart it Yes. Okay, so I'm going to switch over and restart it. And this yeah. kind of started on uh, January 26th, 2023 with Ian Ajax. Wondering if it could be done on the 2600. And he did a graphical mock-up of the game. Oh. And then three days later, Splendid Nut did a proof of concept playable kind of version for of Bruce Lee. What? It resets the lanterns oh, no. when you go to the new screen. And he's uh, done three screens for it. And then on February 14th of this year, he started a separate thread for the game. He said, what? Bruce Lee for the 2600 written in Batari Basic? What madness is this? Previously, I'd mentioned something about maybe converting my little Bruce Lee demo to a Batari Basic. Well, I've spent the past several days doing just that. It was a bit of pain to convert between the C code and Batari Basic, since it required different approaches, and Batari Basic has a lot of gotchas that tripped me up. Overall, it wasn't too bad. It ju just took me longer than I expected. In some ways, the code has been a bit nicer and easier to work with, and some improvements did come about because of the conversion. I haven't converted all over all my previous work yet, but I've got enough that it seems reasonable to post a demo binary and source code for anyone who wants to mess around with it. Code is a bit rough in places, but I tried to keep things clean and commented for the most part. I replaced the multi-sprite Batari Basic kernel with the display kernel from the original project. At the moment, it's not really flexible nor easy to use, and all the necessary background graphics data has been hard-coded in the kernel. I still need to figure out how to nicely encode the screens in a way that would make it easier for others to create and edit. So on Friday he posted, uh, this past Friday, in preparation for the ZPH showing, I spent this past week getting in some initial fight code. The enemies can now hurt the player with their attacks. I made the player blink red when hurt as a quick and dirty way of getting it functioning. The player can now punch both enemies, knocking them back and scoring some points. The player can also get points for collecting lanterns. Moving the scre between screens will reset them. I made an initial attempt to do uh, up the third screen and the blocking sidewalls are now operational. Also some initial placeholder sound effects. And today he posted a minor update, fixed uh, player kick action. Now if the player is running, the attack fire button will initiate kick action properly. So that before you had to stand still and kick, but now you can jump, uh, run and kick. Added check to see if the player collected all the lanterns on the screen when moving on to the next. This is the first step towards handling overall game progression. Uh, sadly, I wasn't able to get the player controlled YAMO code implemented yet because I, I uh, Yamo talked to him. YAMO on the moon. <laughs> YAMO on the moon. But, uh, YAMO on the moon. A second player controlling YAMO and making him scream. Oh, oh, oh. It actually moves like a cow on the C64. 
Um, I started but found I needed to rework the player enemy logic first to help avoid duplicating a bunch of code. Also, this might be the last update using an 8k ROM. Looks like I might have to be jump to bump this up to 16k. Well, depending on how many screens you're going to add, you're going to need a lot of ROM. Uh, hit detection is a little loose on the lanterns, but looks nice so far as the first draft. Yeah, yeah. I, the mountains look beautiful. The screen looks beautiful. Um, like the play field. Um, and uh, I think the, the ninja looks really good. Yamo and Bruce Lee. I think they, you yeah, know, they're not, not bad. Not bad, not bad. And the lanterns are perfectly good. I like the colorful lanterns. They work well. Yeah. Bachman says, love the ninja guy. Yeah, he, he looks really good. The ninja really guy good. looks menacing. Very like menacing. Him. Lantern collisions are only detected at the front of the head. Okay. So if you jump before the lantern, um, it won't. So you can get two on the jump. So it's like in the original. Um, should nice. add an alternate palette so it could be the last dragon starring Bruce Leroy. <laughs> so it's just two screens, uh, if three. I'm not mistaken. Three There's screens. a third one? How, yeah. do, how do I get to the third screen? Um, I think this is the last one on the right. No, so. this is... There's. I think it's... I'll keep going. Can't go there. No, it looks like they're blocked. It looks uh, like the bottom two are blocked. That looks blocked. So you might have to go up to the top to go over. Which way? To the left, because that's not blocked. Well, I bet that's where I came from. And then you can go over one more, because the top isn't blocked, and the middle isn't blocked. Yeah, but I went that way already. I came from that way. Okay, okay, try again. Come on. Go up. There you go. Three screens. Oh, okay. Maybe a fourth one. Keep going. No, I can't go. Oh, back. you have to collect. There you go. Now try again. Don't go. Don't I'm not go. trying to go back. Why do you keep going back? Keep I'm going trying to, to get left. the lantern, but oh, I, you don't it, need it to. won't let me get the... Oh, I see up there. So you have to go up to, right to the top. Okay. Do, 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 do. Oh, no. Three screens. There you go. So I wanted to show this on the show because I I love this game Cute. and I want to encourage Splendid not to keep going with it because it's it's really really cool. It's got all the elements of the original game so far. You can kick, you can punch. Um, you've got the three first screens in there. Yeah, it looks really really great. Yeah, it does. It looks good. Especially the mountains at the top, really great gradation on them. Yeah, he said only the front of the head, so you kind of have to jump into them or there you jump go. up. In the Atari 8-bit version, when the characters kick, the sprites are mostly changed to double width. I think that trick could be used here. Yeah, if he has time in the kernel, like he's using Batari Basic, I don't know if there's um, an available kernel to do double wide sprites on the portion of a character. I mean, Splendid Knight could uh, answer that. I haven't used Batari Basic. I'm coding an assembly, which obviously more flexible, but is, you know, harder to do because it's not as it's not basic, right? All custom kernels used in this. Oh, okay, so you could um, make your own kernel there. Good stuff. Very good stuff. I think we've looked at all of it I now. think we have. Awesome start, Splendid Nut. Yes. Can't wait to see this one progress. Um, yeah, like I said, one of my favorites. Love the ninja guy, says Bachman. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Uh, so the next game we're going to be playing is Stellar Drive Mars by uh, Kiki PDPH. Mirsad. I don't think I've seen him in the chat yet tonight. Um, this is a new build um, for today. So let me switch the cartridges. Mm -hmm. And go for it. Um, it's the 32K game. Other games he's made. Three Point Dash, Karamujo, uh, Final D, Final D2, Jutland Skies, Meow, Meow 2, <laughs> Stellar Drive. And this is an extension of his game Stellar Drive, okay. which had two paths. And this one has three, and he's playing on different, um, different obstacles. But this is just a start to the game as well. Okay. Thank you for subscribing, Mandy Sipping Tea. That's a new name. Welcome. <laughs> Glad you're enjoying what we do here. Thank you for your support. Um, February 16th, Stellar Drive Mars is actually conceived as an improved version of the first game, Stellar Drive. 
Uh, Stellar Drive is my first game I created uh, for the Atari 2600. In this version, the idea is that in addition to obstacles on the track, as in the old version, this version will also have a broken road, meaning these three roads will not be constant. Uh, February 18th, a new update. If your score increases and no, no longer zero, indicating you have lost a life, score is the current test indicator. Mm -hmm. I'm, now I'm implemented in the game the ability to lose a life. Next, I'll be working on building levels. Probably with the following update, the first level will be created. New update, February 21st. Provisional obstacles have been set up. Obstacles are taken from the first version of the game, and later there will be some new ones, as well as a broken road. Players will have one life, just like in the first uh, version of the game, but they'll have the option to continue. And um, he sent me a new version. This one's not posted yet, as okay. far as I know. This one, yeah. Because the other version didn't work on a actual 2600. Okay, did, just in the emulator. Just did in the emulator. Okay. So this one works and I'm, I'm guessing you'll be posting this. So you have to jump over those and jump. Nope. That's a impenetrable a wall. wall. I, I think I remember this game. And then you have to jump left and right. Oh, how do I jump left and right? Uh, same button, just jump. But you have to be close to the edge to jump across. So try it now. There you go. You just have to jump though. You do have to jump. Oh, okay. But you have to get close. Yeah, yeah, I have to get used to that. Yeah, I do, I do remember playing the other, uh, the original game. So this is going to be a, a much bigger game with different obstacles. Oh, yeah. Nice. And score is dictated oh, just by how... Why is this so hard? <laughs> it's a joystick fault, obviously. <laughs> um, oh, I'm just not close enough to the edge. Yeah, you have to... You have to kind of move to the edge. Yeah, it's better to sit at the edge. Oh in the direction that you want to go. Oh, past the a flag. Oh, a little early. 57, top score. Is that your last score or the top score? We'll, we'll see. Oh, too early. Oh, and then press the line and see if it was the oh. top score. Don't, don't. Oh, it's the no, last it's score. it's the last score. Okay. Yeah, it does look good. It has some parallax scrolling with the, I don't know, planet underneath. And uh, the roads are moving at different speeds. It does look very nice. And the obstacles are very, very colorful. And you can, you can tell quite easily between a wall and an obstacle to jump over. Is the jumping calibrated to Martian gravity, though? Let's say it is. <laughs> and I love how it falls and becomes tiny, tiny, tiny really good effect and uh, the way the wheels move just enough to show some movement oh. <gasps> top score <laughs> <laughs> it is the same okay so every time you play it is exactly the same looks like it. Oh, I just okay. I, yeah you really do have to move over because <laughs> you think oh I'm, I can just jump from here over but you can't if, yeah. you're, if you're not really on the edge yeah, that could be something that mm. you could um, implement is different gravity. Oh, yeah. For different... And the obstacles could be longer, too, on the different gravity. Because you don't get much time to jump on this one. But you get enough. Oh, I, I hit Reminds that Reminds me of the old PC game Skyroads. Oh, I don't know that one. Mm -hmm. I should... game you got to cut things really close <gasps> Too oh, early. You, have to, you have to move first move and jump yeah that's does, the key does look tricky it's tricky but it's it's not i mean practice it a little it won't be so bad I if you, can just... you can be right on the edge yeah as long as you're not fully off the edge right yeah what if there's going to be two big barriers in a row thank you Oh, sort of like it. that. Sort of like well, that. Well, yeah, but like, like you once have to you jump because you have to land first it. before you jump, right? So. Right. I'm just gonna stay on these two. And well, see. you're just jumping back. You're not even jumping over them. Well, yeah, now you are, but you could just keep going back and forth as long as you have well, the space to land. Then you're okay. If there's gonna be two impenetrable bar impenetrable barriers in a row. It's possible. Because this is definitely a tactic. But even even if the jump comes too soon, mm. definitely ramping it up. So he's implemented. Oh, 
Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> or you can jump for you can jump over gaps too. I'm not sure how far though. 203. Good job. Thank you. Bachman, I I would not last long. I'm terrible at these types of games. <laughs> oh, these it's are my, very precise. These are my jam. Yeah, it's very precise. I love this stuff. Yeah, you like precise games? It's like I like precise treats in my mouth. Yes. Yes, I want them in my mouth, please. Yeah. Do you want treats? This is the little fluffy. So we actually here. implemented um, broken roads. Yeah, that's cool. It reminds me of that music game. Um, oh, where you're jumping over um, gaps. It, what, you're jumping over gaps and you're going through the tunnel? You. Yeah. Great game. I think you can jump forward. I really think that gap's way too big. To you do think that. so? Uh huh. 100%. Well. I'm not going to risk a life. Well, you haven't Takes gone past it there. yet, so. Mm hmm. Okay, I'll do it. I think you should try. Mm. I'm, I'm not saying I'm right. I'm just saying. <laughs> So you're saying you're right? I think you should try. So you're saying it's your fault if I die? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here for advice. I'm not doing it. We'll see. Here we go. Big old jump. You lose. No. All right, you're correct. So you have to jump back and forth. Wasted. There is no try. <laughs> <laughs> That's BDG. That's right. There is only do or oh, do not. You're so silky. Such He's a silky a, cat. He is a very silky he cat. Yes. Just want to pet him. Not quite as silky as when he was younger, but he's still he's very He's got a lot more fluff silky. now. Yeah. He's gotten fluffier. He's got a little bit more of a lion's mane. Yeah, he's yeah. poofed out. He has poofed out. Has it been a cold winter? He needed yes. more fur. Needed more fur. Yeah. I'm cold. Fluff me up. Oh, ah! yeah, nostalgic. That's a good a good uh, suggestion. It would be nice if this had options for three lives with the flags acting as checkpoints. Yes. Uh, it would help for learning the later sections. I mean, well, maybe that is the point the of flags, the checkpoints. The flags are definitely the checkpoints yeah. because there's a flag and then there's the broken road. Yeah. Oh my god, stupid. Captain Classic needs a speed up down like Spy Hunter to push your reflexes. Ooh. You could also add a time mode so you score more points or get greater time bonus, like pole position. Um, yeah, pushing forward to speed up would be really, really cool. Because then you can navigate the gaps. How yes. You, how, how you want Potentially, to. Potentially, yeah. Here we go. It's coming. I made it. Oh. I did almost make it to the end. I made it further. Now it's time. Oh, I made it. Now what's happening? There's two roads. Uh oh. Oh, did I beat the game? <laughs> Yay! Yay! Woo! Just don't jump off the edge, and you're gonna win. Infinite points. <laughs> so that's awesome. Great start. Yeah. Uh, can you go really big, cool. bigger, and smaller jumps? No. It's you hold down the button. It's as much as <laughs> pressing it. You beat the game. Woo! I did. Look at that. Good job. So he, obviously these roads are in memory, like they're in the ROM. Okay. Like, cause it's exactly the same every time. So he's just made it up to there. <laughs> and it's yeah. just like, he just needs more levels, repeat. more checkpoints, more yeah. levels. Yeah. Yeah. So cool. But I knew it was, it was in the early stages. Yeah. Um, but this, this is awesome. And, and Mirsad's made amazing games. All the games he's made, like Karamujo is oh, uh, so yeah. much fun nice, nice, and, the, nice, and the meow nice. games are so much fun as well yeah um so if you want to check out what he's done so far you can give it a download mm -hmm. i don't know if the jumps the gaps in the road version is up but i'm sure it will be because i let him know that this version does work on the system uh, okay and so james on. is just racking up points look at it go <laughs> yep if anyone wants... Oh, oh, that's okay. What? I was going to say, if anyone wants to treat the cats, I'm not sure if it's even time for that yet. Then we could have just let the score go until oh, we... <laughs> true. <laughs> roll yeah. it over. Up to 10,000 no, points. Good. Yep. Okay. The road needs to be generated with a PRNG infinite ROM that way. Yes, I hope he does also implement uh, a random road. Oh, yeah, that would be well. cool. Yep. Yep. That would be very cool. Uh, oh! Ooh! Cats, 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 cats. cats, cats. cats, cats, cats. Cats, cats. It's party time for kittens. Hey, kittens. Is it party time? Oh, party time. Here we go. 
get party some coasters. Time, party time. Oh, I think you have them. Do, do, do. Yep, you do. Yep, I do. Okay. Are you ready? Ready for party time? Are Who triggered ready? party time? Nostalgic. Thank, Thank you, you. Nostalgic. Okay, there's one. There's another. We're going to dirty up the floor with all the cat nips. You ready? A little bit for you. A little bit for you. A yum, bit yum, 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 yum. A little bit more for you. Good kitties. Good cats. Time to get high, kitties. New screensaver. Yeah, it just keeps going and going. Okay. So it is uh, time for the last game. It's also by <gasps> Splendid Nut. It is hey! Chaotic Grill. Splendid Nut has been working hard. It has been. Um, so this uh, build is from March 3rd. Uh, last time we played this was November 29th, 2022. Wow, A okay. long time ago. Oh, Look at so that little guy. So oh, cute. So Look cute. at this beautiful oh, intro. That looks so nice. Oh, wow. There's all the credits, code and graphics, sound. Oh, it's gone. Uh, so we've got easy mode. Oh, reset. Oh, the cats are fighting now. Oh. A little bit of batting going on. What are you doing, cats? I uh, also made Bruce Lee and paint the city. <laughs> they are fighting a bit. No, not gonna, gonna fight anymore out? now that I've switched the screen. Of course not. Okay. Okay. Um, so March third, twenty twenty four. A couple months ago, I had a few people contact me regarding this project and wanting to see it published, released on cart. So after Christmas and through January, I did a bunch of work. So here's what I've done. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff. Go to, so you can go down to... Editor? Ooh, you can not make yet. your own? We'll, we no, no, I, yeah. Credits. So code graphic sound, Phil Blackman, sprites, nostalgia, uh, 37. Go back. I, so yeah. short. Miscellaneous, Cur Kurt Woolwich. Nice. Uh, we've seen the high score. So uh, com mostly completed level editor. Yeah. Rewrote nice. a lot of the title screen code, okay. which is very visible. Added a text engine to it. That's beautiful text. It's actually really nice text. It is. It is really nice. Wow. I love the color. So I'm guessing you you pick the initial color and it moves it darker from there. It's like here's green. Here's the shades of green. Yeah. The, shades the of blue. Gradations That's really nice. It is really nice. I might steal that. <laughs> um, added a credit screen added a high score table currently shared between difficulty settings mm. so there's easy medium hard is it's all the same score table mm. added a difficulty setting yeah that wasn't there before finished fix a bunch of scoring bugs okay yeah very readable font very the font readable. is nice it is really nice yeah. tweak the scoreboard change flickering technique added a game over text I thought a lot about improving the sprite flicker management, but unless someone else wants to work on it and think they can do something with it, I'm not too worried about it. I've had a bunch of false starts, but I don't. I think I just don't have the motivation to do anything with it. I'd like to lower the scan line count. Currently, is 267, which is not too much above 262. Um, but I'm not sure how doable that is either, because it is a very tall game. Lots of burgers. Um, ultimately, this feels very close to completion now. Adding the menu and the difficulty options were a real tipping point for me. I've started working on adding a save key support. But that'll probably be available only for the released version. Please try out the level editor and let me know what you think. I know of one big bug with it. When switching into the editor from the game, it will load a fresh copy of level one, losing any changes that were made. But besides that and some other polish, I think the editor works very well. Uh, anyways, enjoy. Splendid nuts still in the chat? I don't see him saying anything. Oh, you should have waited for this also. That's okay. So you know what to do is to go Generally. to the top thing yeah. and then wait for a guy to pass over. I know, I know, I know. <laughs> I'm, they scare the, me, though. Otherwise, the burger only goes down one level. No, you're not gonna, it's not going to work from that side. Because everybody's on the left. Ah, no, Pepper! Oh, I always forget the Pepper. Oh, Splendid Nut's still here. Uh, hey, sorry. Splendid Nut! Because if you trap people in the burger, it'll go... Okay, wait. That just I know, kills them. I know, I know. I know how this game is played. <laughs> we played enough versions, right? Yeah, that's the better way to do it. Yes. And you get points, too. Yeah. Which is fine. 
Get that ice cream. Ice cream, I always mess ice up. Ice cream equals pepper, for some reason. Does it? <laughs> yes. That's a good thing. You get more pepper. Ooh, you're not gonna make it. No, no, no. Ah! No. They're so terrifying. <laughs> you're just thinking back to the commercial. I know. Right? People dressed up in very frightening costumes. Just too scared. Too scared. Wait, I just want to get yeah, it done. Yeah, this is such an amazing port. Oh, oh yeah, you'll get that. Um, just miles above the original. It, there was 2, an original 2600 version? Yeah, most of the enemies were just like made out of the, like, the ball <laughs> and the missile. And they were just like squares. <gasps> yeah. Wait for it. Wait for it. No! Oh, it's it's not exactly where you think it's... <laughs> Tanya's like Atari. She has her own agenda. <laughs> Tanya knows how to play. She just chooses to play a different game. way. Yeah. There you go. Oh, oh close. Side couch driving. Yeah. Ah. We both do it. It's bad. <laughs> that is true. I just like to kill them. They scare me. <laughs> They are scary. The display screen is ah, around ah, 200 pepper, scan lines. It's pepper. the V-blank regions that push the total. Oh, it's V-blank. Oh, okay, it's not the screen. Just too much. Too much code. Gotta optimize it. Optimize that code. Smush him. Smush. Ah! Throwing pepper at nothing. Ah! Oh. I'm not good at this game. I never, I've never been good at this game. I think it's fear. Erlen is strangely amazing at this is game. Is he? Yes. I'm not, well, don't say strangely. He's good at most games. <laughs> well, yeah, but he's like just rocked this game when he first played it. Like he didn't even know how it worked. And he was just like, just getting through every level yeah, with no surprised. problems whatsoever. I'm not even remotely surprised. <laughs> he wasn't. Ah. Ah, run. He wasn't exposed to the terrifying marketing for this game, so that's true. <laughs> oh, nice points. Uh, D Train says this really deserves to be a fully built out, heavily tested, and given a full release. It's fantastic. I 100% agree. Um, maybe you can approach uh, Champ Games with it. Oh no, Atari owns an M Network. Is this under the M Network? I doubt the licensing is still under M Network. Because I thought Atari bought some M Network titles and this was one? Oh, coffee time. Um, but it could have reverted back to whoever. Let's see who owns this. Data East title. Champ Games quality? Yes, 100%. The oh, graphics. Yeah. Everything. So good. So, Data East. So, who owns Data East now? Um, was a Japanese company. And who bought them? By G Mode. Now owned like by Marvelous. Okay. Uh, who's Marvelous? Uh, is a Japanese game developer Marvelous? Is owned by Tencent. Oh boy. Good luck with that. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Tencent is a massive company, mm -hmm. one of the biggest video game companies in the world. Mostly um, uh, phone phone games, I believe. Yeah. ColecoVision version is the best contemporary port of this game. Yeah, ColecoVision was a very good version. Of this. Oh, what? What? <gasps> what? Oh, bug! Bug! bug. Did you note that? Uh, terrifying sausages. An hour twenty nine minutes into the into the game, <laughs> sausage had invulnerability somehow. Wait for it. Yes. Run, get the fries. Timestamp bug. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
Tiny, yes, there's a bug to be had. Tiny will find it. I will find the bug. Squish, 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 squish. Went right through the sausage. Ah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, lucky. It, it is good because they have to follow a path. They do. They go upright, upright if you're to the right. They they go diagonal. And it is it is quite predictable if, if you um, watch where they are and where you are. It's very, very, very predictable. But some levels just there's nowhere to go. Squishy squish. Smoosh! Oh, I thought Tanya was screaming the F word. No! I, th I thought so I don't, too at I first. Don't, I don't scream the F word on uh, <laughs> on this stream. Fudge! My other stream, no. <laughs> Your other stream. All the time. <laughs> with with the, the cat's only stream. The cat's only. Sorry, you made me laugh. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, the cat's only stream. Cats only. <laughs> cats only. I didn't even mean it that way. Like cats fans only, only cats fans only. only, yeah. Oh, I want a cats only website. <laughs> yeah. Where all there is is just cats. The only playing. cats? The only cats. Only right? cats. That's what it is. <laughs> oh my goodness. How well would that do? It would do well. An only cats site? Oh <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Only cats. cats. Cats only fans. Oh, I bet there's already a website somebody's uh, for sure. And it's just webcams of cats. Oh, of course! Just rooms of cats, and you can have your favorites and oh. give them treats like we do on our oh. show. Oh my god, that's It would just adorable. be cats. All cats, all the time. That's a winning formula. <laughs> that's a winning... Well, you could have a Twitch-only cat stream. Oh, get to put your score in. So, put in your name. Oh, no, that's a zero, not a two. Oh, very flickery, though. It's very flickery, but it's a good, good start. Uh, cat videos on the internet? Nah, no one would go for that, says it's Kev. <laughs> what? Cats on the internet? Oh. <laughs> T-O-B. There we go. Very it's, nice. Uh, and all all cats. Um... Is every burger piece a sprite? I don't think yeah. they are. No, they're playfield. See how, see how they are? I mean, that's a high praise. <laughs> Asking if every burger is a sprite. And they do look really good. It's because of the color. The great coloring he's done. Ooh, nice. Down to the bottom. Oh no! Didn't make it all the way down. Burger pieces are play field. Oh yeah. Slender nut sets, yeah. And they're really good. Yeah, you're going down the ladder. Yeah, right Nostalgia now. says cats invented the internet to make them more appealing, so we continue to serve them. That's right. Uh, yeah, that sounds about right. Dang Everything man. is just a gigantic cat conspiracy, so. Yep. <laughs> It's all about what the cats want, not us. Get that ice cream, get it! Wasting, wasting, wasting my pepper. Come on. Oh, I know, I know, you gotta do your day. Oh. And on. <laughs> Ooh, not gonna make it. Okay, let's do these double pieces. Nope, not quite. Get that. Gotta stock up on the pepper on the early levels. Or you're in trouble. I love the subtle blue shift in the uh, ladders as well. Yes, yeah, it on really, the rungs. Really, really yeah. adds to it. It does. It gives it a lot of dimension. Yeah. Marvelous Inc. owns G-Mode Corporation, which owns several of Data East's old games, one of which is Burger Time. Yep. So, which is owned, and Marvelous is owned by Tencent, so. Oh, did I make it? Nope. Oh, 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 I got it. Logo wow. is a sea with kitty ears. What? Is it? What is? Which company? Know. That's cute. Our logo. <laughs> Our logo? Cats and on? I don't know. <laughs> Cats only? Oh, Ten Tencent only has 20% stakes. So oh, okay. Okay, so okay. it's not, That's they fine. don't own the whole thing. So it's still marvelous controlling. Yeah. Well, maybe you can approach marvelous. Never they're, know. they're probably like, how many do you expect to sell? Uh, uh, <laughs> a few. <laughs> they're like, uh huh. They're like, please, please be nice. <laughs> ah, pepper for you. Write it down. Write that down. Coffee time! Coffee, coffee, coffee. Kind of want another one. Uh -oh. Coffee time. Oh, God. Yeah, Captain Classic says, according to Wikipedia, yeah, 10 yeah. is 
Okay. They're usually pretty accurate. Uh, for More the most accurate part. than a lot of other sources out there, so. That's true. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, what? Ah! Didn't expect him to go that way. Trouble. I'm in big trouble. Pepper him. Pepper him good. They don't. The pepper doesn't last very long. No, it doesn't. It's very short. Smush that crazy egg. Oh. It's a great egg. And the graphics on the egg is so good. They're so terrifying. Because <laughs> they're relentless? Yeah. And they, they, they chase oh, you. Oh, that was so close. That was really good, by the way. Thank you. Well, there we go. Yeah, some flicker management would go a long way in this game. I know it's hard to do. Well, you got a lot of stuff moving around there. Yeah, that's the issue. It's it's a lot to manage. Like, there's you and how many? Somewhere under top four at the at the moment. Maybe not. Maybe not. Should I? Should I? Should I? Nope. It's coming down. Too dangerous. You're good. The egg relentlessly chases you. One might say it's, it's runny. even runny. Yeah. Ah, ah. <laughs> good one. That's <laughs> terrible. It's very hard boiled. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, Captain Classic says, I don't remember the pepper staying the food for very long in the arcade. Usually just enough for you to walk past. Okay. Yeah, this seems a little shorter somehow. I don't, like, it's not long in the I'm arcade. I'm sure he's timed it. I mean, yeah. that's not hard to change. It's the time. No, it just seems short, but I mean, I haven't played it in a while either. Yeah. And, uh, Separation there. I have gotten better at this game. I'm not good oh, at this game. Oh, I was terrible before. Terrible before, yeah. But now I'm like, oh, now I know how to actually play it. It makes sense now. Oh, boy. Ah, 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 Get ah. the fries. Whoop, fries. But, I mean, the flicker's not so bad that you're you're like, oh, my God. That it's... Like, it's got some flicker management there. I don't think it's that big of a problem. Obviously, there's some room for improvement, but... Can I come over here? No, I can't. Over there. Squishy. More pepper! Mm, so much. I need all the pepper. Yep. Down you go. Ooh, I better work on this button up here. These two buttons. Yeah, I can get one of these guys at least. Oh, they're in sync. Ooh. The pickle and the egg. Oh, there's still one up there. Damn it. Yeah, you gotta get that one down. Okay. Smoosh him. Oh. Smoosh him good. Ah, damn it. Just one more. Yeah. Oh, no, there's the bottom ones too. What? Oh. Oh, that's its own burger. That. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Get some more pepper. Go around, around that I guy. I have to get those bun guys, but maybe that will be... Oh, go to the right. Yep. There we go. And I'll go over and do this one for now. Sounds like a plan. See that little pixel there? That's beside that yeah. fully made bun? That's my system's fault. <laughs> oh, it oh! went through again! <gasps> It went through. Nope. 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 <laughs> nope. 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 I think that the AI is such that it requires the enemies to take ladders at certain times, so changing it to reduce flicker would make it less close to the original game. Says nostalgic. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, the highest scoring move is to get all enemies on a burger piece and drop it. All the enemies. Really? Rather than smushing them. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Dropping it is much harder. Oh, I gotta get to the top. What am I doing? This level's relatively simple. Because... You just because there's get so the many top. ladders, right? You go down. Go down. Yes. Oh, he's gonna wake up. Yeah, doesn't 
Let's Deep pepper. I think it's not chocolate chip ice cream. It's <laughs> ice don't. cream with pepper. Oh. It's have got you, pepper on the top. Is that a thing? No. There's, there's <laughs> Not that strange, I'm aware of. There's some strange ice cream flavors. There are, oh, no, all four! I... <gasps> all four, all four, all four! Whoa! Nice! I don't think I've nice. ever done that before. I don't think I've ever <gasps> seen all, that they're before. They're all coordinated again. Oh my god, it can happen over and over and over. Oh, perfect. They're coming this way. Don't split up. No, we can't. They're too dumb. <gasps> wow! And I'll just keep getting ice cream and keep getting getting all four, and I'll be done in two more moves. If you're lucky. No. If they don't split up. Oh. They don't. Perfect. Yes. Wow. Nice. Did it? Does it have that behavior in the arcade where that once they're all connected, that they never split up? I guess because there's think, no randomness uh, but, to it. They follow a pattern. Yeah, but you would think they would each follow a different pattern. Do you know what I mean? No, they... they <gasps> Look yes. at that. Woo! Oh, give me the ice cream. That was cool. That was very cool. I really want ice cream. Oh, you have to pepper a few to get them all together. Oh, oh. I, I'm distracted by lives. Five is, five oh, is bigger than fast. nine. What, what is that? What is going on in the top there with the... Greater than nine? Something great. Oh, pepper oh, is greater, pepper than, greater nine. than nine. It's just flashing in and out. Okay. It's like, what is, what is this? This is a crazy level. Oh boy, it is. Oh no, I'm like, oh god. Oh, pepper time. I gotta get out of here. Gotta gotta get, get them to uh, the top. I gotta get to the top. <laughs> That's a fun bug. <laughs> yeah, it is a fun bug. Where it was like, Kind of drawing the pepper, but not completely drawing. Oh, now the it's now it's fine. Yeah, it was. It was the greater the than nine. It was having a bit of trouble with that. Yeah, where'd the greater come from? Is that a symbol in the score? Yeah, that one went down a bit. Pepper. Ah, now how many? It's gonna go down. Not that many. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh three. You got three. <gasps> three. Oh, oh, nice. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, down that way. Three's good. Three will do. Three will do the whole thing. Oh, you have to be on the other side of that bun, though. Mm. Oh, no, no, it might work. Uh-oh, you might have to... Oh, you. if you can pepper him oh. on the bun... He's going to be... Oh, no, it's going around. Okay, perfect. <gasps> oh, no, you lost one. Yeah. Still, you got just the lid left. Yep. Just the lid. Just the lid. <laughs> the lid of the burger? The that's, that's a legitimate thing to say. It's the, uh, the lid? It's the lid of the burger. <laughs> I mean, technically, yes. Go up, go up. Oh. No, no, no. At least there's a way out. On some levels, it's like, no, that's oh, the dead you end. You might be good here. I will, yeah. See if you can get those two, and that'll bring I, I think they're going to go down. a different direction. Oh. Yeah. Um, no, this is... Okay, drop it. I'm just going to do this. But if I do this, that will help. Kind of. That's okay. Where's he going? Oh, oh he turned, turned around. around. That's unusual. You'll get that. Do they... You're all good. What's the rules for turning around? I don't remember them turning around all that much. Hat is a fancy burger. <laughs> what is that? Burger lids. <laughs> burger lid. <laughs> burger <laughs> lid. <laughs> It's the hat on the burger. Uh, maybe it's the hat on the burger. Hat it is a fancy burger. There we go. <laughs> the burger lid. It's the lid. It's the oh, this level is the worst. It is the worst. Oh, you get trapped you need so all... much. Oh my god. You need all the pepper. Well, I've got lots of lives. Oh, that's a good thing. Got greater than nine lives. Like a kitty. You're not... There's no... You can't... Oh, I guess you can run away if it comes up. Yep. No, it's not. It becomes to the left, though. It's trapped. They're going in circles. They don't want to... Are you blocking? You're no, because they have to take um, a different path. Nice. Wish, 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 wish. Oh! Ah! Run, 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 run. Oh. That scared me. Oh, my God. All my pepper. All my pepper. Oh, oh I no! shot it too early. This level is is so hard. And it's not even the hardest level. Yeah. Boy, that's good I caught that guy. They always come out at the same point, eh? Uh, yes. Oh, lost it. Oh, this level 
so hard. Mm. No pepper left. Oh, I'm so dead. And you really can't recover because you need pepper to get pepper. <laughs> Squishing them gets rid of them. Yeah, it clears which your is path. good, in a way. Oh, run! Ah! Oh, two are together. Oh, we might get Almost them. three. Ooh, this is good. Okay. Okay. No! Bastards. That just squishes them. Go up. Okay. Get him there. Yeah, definitely. And it'll be to the bottom. Oh, I need that badly. I need pepper so bad. Two peppers! Total. I find the side one's the worst because. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, are they in a row? Uh, two of them are. Oh! Didn't mean to do that. And the one below. Good, good, good. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. We've got three left to go. Okay. And the last one. Oh, I have to Here. use my pepper. Yeah, that's okay. Oh, no! Run! <laughs> <laughs> Get out of there! Okay, I need to lead them up here. Get away from them somehow. Ooh, are they all gonna go to the right? That's fine. Okay. I like it. I like it, I like it. Go down oh. the middle. There, there, there. You're almost done. Good. Yay! Woo! Oh, no peppers, though. Oh, the peppers. Oh, level one again. Okay. That was the hard level. Man, I haven't been to Arby's in ages. <laughs> Best mozzarella sticks in fast food. Really? Oh, really? Never, yeah, yeah. I've, I've never been to Arby's. Never I've been never been Arby's. a big fan of Arby's, but if they have good mozzarella sticks. Hey. Ice cream. I need to load up on the ice cream on this level. All the peppers. So speaking of fast food, what are people's favorite fast food restaurants? Like if we're if we're on a road trip, oh, and and I'll trip. I'll okay. I'll um I'll tailor this question to the Americans. Yes. If we're on a road trip down in the states, what are the fast food places that, oh, that we, should, we go. should go to? That we should hit. Oh God. And I guess we're inclined, probably more inclined to be like driving down the West Coast. So it'd be the West Coast ones. I need less lives and more pepper. Popeye's hands down. Okay. Taco Hell. I like tacos. Taco Hell? Yeah. Is that a chain? Never heard of it. Not too many Arby's out there. Burger King, in and out I've heard in and out is very good. in and out in and out three in and outs I couldn't see. What states? Well, I mean... If we're West driving, Coast. we're often on the West Coast, so we're driving through oh, Seattle. Ninety-nine percent. Uh, so Washington or Oregon, California. California is often. If we're Not if we're road tripping, that's usually. But that we wouldn't usually go that. We do sometimes far. go to the West Coast, but <gasps> ah, you turn around. No pepper. Oh no. I'm just gonna eat up my lives. Five Guys. We have Five Guys in Canada. Actually, I do like Five Guys burgers. I think they use peanut oil for. You get free peanuts. I can't remember. Their fries are pretty good. One pepper. DVG. A Waffle House once was hours away from having hash browns available. I always hate that when they don't have what you're looking for. Especially if you go somewhere specifically for something and they don't have it. Uh. Yeah. Taco time, maybe, if you're going through Seattle. Five guys, unless you have peanut allergies. Wendy's. Yeah, I like Wendy's. Big Bernie Low. That's one of my favorite. Wendy's. Probably from childhood. One of my favorite burger places. Nostalgic, I have a strange fondness for Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwiches are good, especially if they're spicy. Mm. in and out I've never been in and out I think I need to make a trip to in and out I don't know if they have anything vegetarian there, though. Yeah. But I've heard only good things about in and out burgers, so... Okay... I'm a big fan of A&W burgers, although A&W Canada is not the same thing as A&W US for some stuff. reason. They have different stuff, 
and they're owned by different companies, apparently. Oh, interesting. Um, I think they're similar. You keep riding that burger. Yeah, <laughs> you keep going down. You don't have much down. time to do that, but no. uh, you can. Waffle, yeah, D-Train. Waffle House is always a crapshoot. I love it whenever I go there. They are always training someone, and they can never get my order right. Oh, that sucks. Ah. There's a Rax Roast Beef in Cir Circleville, Ohio, and some Roy Rogers. Roy Rogers is one of those wow. funny places I remember from I know of road it. tripping when I was a kid, because we'd go down the East, East, Coast East Coast and drive through like New Hampshire and Vermont and down to Maine when I was young. <sighs> Got it. Oh, I'm so close it's to very dying risky. here. Very risky. Very oh, risky. Oh, I need that yeah. coffee. So badly. Oh, it's gone. Oh, no. Nostalgia says the very first Tim Hortons I ever saw was attached to a Wendy's. They did that for a while. They had like Wendy's. They they would have them in malls or they'd even have restaurants where it was like a Wendy's on one side and a Tim Hortons on another. Yeah. They, that was like a trend in like the early 2000s, 90s, 2000s. And they did it with KFC and Pizza Hut, right? Yeah. And then after a while, they just, I don't know, oh, stopped boy. doing that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I mean, Tim Hortons yes. is not in any sense great Kittens, food. Please. But it's just Some everywhere. Restraint. Yeah. And if you if you wanna I think they still have like the iced coffees. I always the really Tim liked Hortons? their yeah, like their blended iced coffees. Yeah. They're more sugar than anything else. <laughs> That's um, why you like them. But they're good. If it's Am I if it's on easy? I'm playing on easy. I've been I? playing on easy, okay. so yeah, we'll have to try it on there. Yeah. This Tim is... Hortons is convenient, mediocre food, exactly. But sometimes yeah. cheap, convenient, mediocre. Actually, they might not even be that cheap anymore. But convenient, mediocre food is sometimes exactly what you need. So. Oh. D train. My gr bastards. girlfriend swears by Tim Hortons in Nova Scotia. Yeah, it's it's it's. Oh, you bastards. Ah. In general, you'll get a cheap meal there. Cheaper oh than God. anywhere else. And it's usually pretty decent, so... Yeah. Yep. Okay, are you guys gonna go here? Are you... Yep. Okay, at least one sausage. Get that sausage. The sausages are my favorite. I think I got nothing like They're all terrifying, <laughs> but I love how they have wiggly bodies. The wiggle animation is so cute. It is really cute. <laughs> oh, no! No! Train. I love convenient, mediocre food. It's my favorite. <laughs> oh, God damn it. Oh, a large, -ish, a large order of Timbits. No plain. Yeah. I like... They used to have the cherry oh, oh, oh. crullers. Crullers? Crullers. That were super, super sweet, and they were my absolute favorite as a child. And then they used to have them... And sometimes you can still get them in Timbit form. Like that? So they're like oh, very sweet cherry cake donuts yeah they're still like they still make me happy what? even now you were supposed to go up oh no you didn't take the ladder silly 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 have... uh, sausage silly you silly He's sausage a silly sausage it's actually a saying isn't it silly sausage yes <laughs> hey silly sausages they aren't obeying the ladder ladder rules it, move, move it! Oh, that was close. So lucky there. I need that pepper. It's gonna be gone. It's, I'm gonna waste this move. Oh, okay. I make it. Oh, went right through all of them again. D train. I like the chocolate glaze timbits. There's, there's no going wrong with chocolate glaze. I, I like, I like cake donuts. Some people really don't, but I, I really like a good cake donut. Okay, I'm gonna have to reset this game because I've. Oh no! Why? Infinite lives. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you try hard? Yeah. Reset it for for hard. Easy is definitely easy. Here you go. Yeah. Uh wow, what is this? Another good burger place is Fud Ruckers. Mm. And then Dan yeah, Dan said it closed down after pandemic. RC seven E, our Fud Ruckers closed down in the nineties. It was good but creepy. I've never been to a Fud Ruckers. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard either. of them. It's one of those one of those names you don't forget when you hear it, but yep. I've never like, I've never eaten that one. Did you just Ah, Dan says there are still some around. Interesting. D-Train says, although if I ever visit Vancouver, we're going for Jewish deli food. 
Oh, I there's didn't know a there was... there's a there are a few. It's not like I wouldn't say it's the place to go for Montreal or even yeah. Ottawa where I grew up. There are quite a few delis around. Oh my god, it's definitely harder. <laughs> They're much faster, much faster. Cake donuts are the best. Yeah. I really like getting them during cider season. Nostalgic? I, I like that you like oh cider god. season. That's oh my god! Oh my god! Game over! Didn't even finish one level. Yeah, you can't go wrong with donuts. All donuts are amazing, especially when fresh and warm. Yeah, there, there are a few Jewish delis around. Oops. I think Siegel's Bagels is really good. That's the one that Darcy always buys bagels, and they have oh, they, yeah. they're more in the Montreal style, which means they're boiled on. I think I don't know if those ones, but they boil them in either honey or or a oh, little bit of sugar, and they're it, a little sweet. It didn't remember the difficulty. Oh, um, splendid nut. If you're writing things down, oh, from the first screen to the second, you mean? Um, just starting a game over. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I prefer Captain Classic. Easy. I prefer bagels to donuts. Bagels to donuts? Yeah. Well, I like bagels. They uh, just serve different purposes. I, like both. I mean, they're very, they're different. One is a very solid cream cheese vehicle. Um, ah, oh my God, this. I oh. like a good bagel too, but it has to be a good bagel. I don't like oh, the, yes. the bready bagels. I'm really fond of the Montreal style bagels, which are more chewy. Hard is so hard. And you start with no pepper. VVG, is that for bagels to donuts? VVG says blasphemy. <laughs> <laughs> Although the best thing about most big California cities are all the mom and pop authentic ethnic food restaurants. Oh, Indian Thai, yeah. yeah, Philippine Cajun that are fast and cheap. We haven't really been to any Filipino. We have a Filipino. We have a Filipino restaurant uh, just yeah. close by to us. We went once, and they had some vegetarian dishes, which was yeah. good. But I think traditionally you eat on the big right. leaf. You you have big you family share. meals, and you share. I don't think I've had a really traditional Filipino meal. But, no. uh, God, hard is hard. Hard is hard. Fresh Street Market. No, I don't know Fresh Street Market, Kev. Where's that? It's in Vancouver? VVG. Oh. <laughs> Bagels are cream cheese delivery vehicle. Just like pancakes <laughs> and waffles are syrup delivery vehicles. That's what I True. said. It is a cream cheese. True. I love a good cream cheese. I love some locks. And cream cheese on a bagel. I also like bagels with cream cheese. Oh, there it is. Like, where is it? Kind of chopped cucumbers, dill, and cucumbers, ground dill. sea yeah. salts. I like. I like a good bagel. I like a good bagel. Oh, I finished level one. New Ab Indian had a great lunch buffet. I do. We both also oh, really like Indian food. Love Indian food. Indian food yeah. We get good Indian food. If you're coming, if you're ever coming to Vancouver, yeah. there's a lot of good Indian food in Vancouver. Because we have the largest Indian population outside of India. So yes, I yeah. So it's so they be say good. It. yes, yeah. It's gonna be good. Yep, yep, yep. Crepes, oh, Captain Classic. Oh, I feel like there's a lot of hot takes um, coming <laughs> out it, here. What's he saying um, about crepes? I uh, love no, crepes. No, Captain Classic said crepes are superior to pancakes. Hundred percent. You 100%. like crepes better than pancakes? Yeah. Good, a good crepe is it's, better. Than I a good find pancake. it's hard to make a good crepe though, like it a is. nice soft. And that's why they're thin better crepe when they're good. We used to have a lot of crepe, crepe restaurants. They're all gone. And then they all just disappeared. I mean, was that like was a, around two thousand. It was like a trend. It was a big almost. trend, and I loved going and having a coffee and a oh, crepe. So good. And you could have a savory crepe. You could have Nutella. And they weren't super heavy. That was the thing. That's what I liked about them. And they weren't hard particularly expensive very either. Hard. But um, they're kind of all disappeared now. Yeah, I'm very sad. It's a shame. Said PH. Oh, remembers the name. Awesome. Yeah, D train. Okay. Yeah, crepes were a thing for a while. Yeah. So we're gonna take a look at the editor. Okay. Ooh. Oh. So. Are you the pepper? <laughs> uh, yeah, you're the pepper. So you can pick which level to start ah, your modifications with. Okay. So pick a level. Let's pick the normal level. level. Okay. Then you. What do you do? No. Up. Oh, there you go. Layout, burger, sprites. Oh, where they come? Where they start? I guess. So let's do the layout. He, he, he cried when you said Sprite, by the way. <laughs> oh, babies. Oh, playing as Pepper is the easy mode. <laughs> That's cute. Oh, what is... Garlic naan. Oh, I could just eat garlic naan. Oh, that's your... 
that's your, your control. Control. Oh, you're editing. Oh, I see. So you can edit to the left or right or down. Oh, okay. Or up. Neat. Neat. So add or remove. No, baby. Yeah, he did. He did cry the moment James said Sprite. <laughs> yeah. Me? RC70, James, Sprite, Sprite, yeah? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> crepes. Yeah, you can get them with stuff inside. Savory or sweet. A good crepe is all, yeah. A good crepe is good all on its own, though. Um, if you have absolutely nothing in your home, you make a crepe and you put lemon juice and sugar. So good. Icing sugar. Or, or regular sugar. Really? Yeah. Um, that is just, we would call them sunrise crepes when my mom used to make them. So oh. she had a little crepe maker, like heaty thing. Okay. How do you get ages ago? This? That was probably like, I don't know, the seventies, eighties, something like that. Um, oh, you go to the top. Okay. Yeah, crepes so are good. then you do the burgers and you go down and you can go edit and you can pick what type you want move I'm oh, guessing you do nothing there cute. or a landing pad of course you have to do oh it, that's a landing pad you have to do it properly yeah <laughs> I'm sure there's chaos if you don't chaos you probably can't walk do over nothing. it yeah so if I change this one to like that and change this one to a cheese then Make I can your own change burger. this one to a bottom bun there you go. That's a proper burger. Yes. Okay. It doesn't have to be a proper burger, though. It could just be lettuce, lettuce, lettuce all the way up could to be. the sky. Yep. What do you want? Then you can what do you want? Move the sprites. Let's see. How do you do this? Can you make Atkins burgers with no buns? You absolutely can. It could be just all lettuce. burgers. Oh, burger. Burger lettuce burger. Lettuce and burgers. Burger. It'd be like That's a Darcy true. burger when he wasn't eating uh, <laughs> any carbs. Yeah. Um. I, oh, this is just... Ye Oh, no, you can move the egg around. Worst okay. vegan burger ever. Yeah, all lettuce. Yeah, James has probably Sad. experienced that sometimes. Uh, Going into restaurants. No, I've never ordered a lettuce burger. That's <laughs> lettuce just wraps. sad. Yeah. Well, there's usually something in the lettuce wrap. BVG, get rid of the veggies, triple the meat, and triple the cheese. Then it's a real burger. <laughs> you could lettuce wrap it. That would be funny. That would so be pretty funny. So how do you play this? Does this substitute? the first level like all the levels are editable or you just play the level that you edit I don't know so how do I get out of this now I need to add numbers to the menu to let you know which sprite you're selecting oh I see okay okay uh, gotta run play on okay oh, thank you back fun <laughs> it was an uh, awesome game you made yeah really fun game thank you for for let you know in letting us play it yeah it was really fun how do you get out of this <laughs> mm, mushroom burger Splendid Nut, how do you get out of the level editor? How do you play the level? I'm guessing you just... Reset, switch to start. Okay. Oh, okay. Yep, that makes sense. This might slightly alter the level. I moved my guy to the top. Oh, you moved... Oh! Oh, oh something happened there. Kicked me back in and changed what level I was on. Hmm. Where's my level? Your game is not, is not couch. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> oh no, it like immediately kicked me out. Nostalgic. When I was a kid, I got a plain burger from Burger King and it actually came out with, without any meat. Let's just... <laughs> oh no. Alter this really, really, really simply then. Yeah, the level changes disappeared. Oh well. Okay. Try it again. Gotcha. Cool. Okay, I don't, I don't okay. know why it reset. Yeah, that, that's all right. Yeah, Splendidette says, I wonder why it booted you back into the editor. Yeah, like almost immediately. Not right away, but... Yeah. This one, this time it's not. I don't know. Check on it frame by frame. Mm -hmm. Very cool to include a level editor. Are you planning on being able to let people save the levels on the save key? Or is that too much information to save? What you could do is uh, export it as a, a wave file. I don't know. <laughs> like, how would you get the levels out of here that you've made? 
Yeah, the level ed editor alone makes this port worthwhile. Yeah. Oh, 100%. Yeah. yeah. This is safe excellent. Safe to the safe key is the plan. So oh, nice. Event. There is yeah, enough room. Good. That's cool. That is cool. Ooh, level editor with plus cart downloading. Ooh. Oh, there we go. That's what we need. Ooh. Yeah, the, everything on this, the, all the improvements you've made are, are absolutely amazing. It's fantastic. I mean, the opening screen. It plays really so well. Good. It's really fun. Yep. We're all um, impressed with the with the font too. Yeah, the font, <laughs> the font is the standout. Fantastic! <laughs> I love this. Oh, now I want a burger. Oh, we had burgers I was yesterday. Burgers, I know. Yeah. It's because I had a yeah. migraine. I, I am always super hungry right after I have a migraine. I just need all the glucose in my brain all at once. So great bunch oh, of games today. Mm -hmm. Um. Ready. So let's uh, take a look at the games we played. So first one we played, Plan B, Escape Earth. Yep. Uh, Fantastic. A amazing game. Uh, Hard. It ramps up pretty quick. But but at a level where you get a good few levels and then it starts really ramping up and so much going on on the screen. I love games like that. They're very frantic. Yep. Um, As I said before, it reminded beautiful. me of like a classic early Atari yes. game with lots going on. I mean, way, way more advanced than those early games. But uh, yeah, there's a lot going on, a lot to keep track of, and which makes it really, really good. Um, yeah, I had a ton of fun with it. Definitely check it out. Mm -hmm. uh, Bruce Lee, uh, very good. early... Yeah, um, good starting point for that work game. In progress. Yeah. Uh, one of my favorite early 8-bit games. I played on my C64. This is a great uh, version on this 2600. They've got the ma uh, Splendid Nuts, got the mountains right. He's got the level looking right. I like He's the multicolored uh, lanterns in there. Multicolored the lanterns. characters look pretty good too. Like, I think yep. everything's it's a good it's start. Well, on its yeah. way. Yeah, so he's got three levels going. Right now, you can collect the lanterns, you can kick, you can punch, the enemies hit you. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's it's going really well. And I'm really looking forward to many more levels yep. on, on Bruce Lee. Uh, Stellar Drive Mars. Uh, great car jumping type of game where you're avoiding obstacles. Yes. Uh, some great parallax scrolling in there. I like games like that. They're fairly simple and yet very challenging at the same time you know like yes the gameplay like, simple but then super easy to understand but the timing getting and, the timing right is 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 a key right yeah, yeah. and it follows along a lot of the uh, car jumping games like bump and jump and things like that mm. um so i think people who uh, like top down car racing games like spy hunter and things like that would really like this game mm -hmm. and it's just in the early stages so there's only just obstacles yeah. and gaps but also in the another road. good start to a game very good start i'm yeah. really looking forward to that yeah and chaotic grill is very far along almost Fantastic. done great port of burger time for yes. the 2600 the graphics are stunning. The colors oh, they look are stunning. So good. The fonts look good. Everything is the, the utmost little intro of screen looks fantastic. Yeah, really, really good. Yeah, and um, if you've played Burger Time, it's a natural transition to just uh, jump into this game, mm -hmm. and it'll play like the Plays arcade. Plays like the arcade. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's and, really, really fantastic. Yeah, and it's got a level editor in, in it as that well. That is so, such a good addition. So if there's a burger time level you've always wanted to make, you or a really make hard it. level, you, you can, can make it. You can make your Atkins burgers, your veggie burgers, you <laughs> can make right. whatever burger you want. And eventually save it to yes. the uh, save key. Yeah. So you can Which play your level again. Yeah. It's not implemented yet, but it will be. Yeah, so, that's oh, awesome. Great version uh, port of burger time. Chaotic Grill, download it now. <laughs> So great four games. Uh, they were all fantastic yeah. today. Oh all fantastic today. Uh, the output of the community is just keeps going and going. It's absolutely oh. awesome. Ground, Ground Trooper is saying, Daylight Savings kills my ability to catch Tuesday shows live. Oh, oh no. no. But you are here. <laughs> <laughs> right at the end, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Need man. to get edited level save in there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be yeah. That'd be very cool. That's gonna be very fun. Maybe use base thirty six instead of hexadecimal. What? <laughs> Must not not be hard. Must be hard to not get distracted when working on two plus games. I I was talking about this the other day. I think John is like working on 
a whole bunch of games he was saying all at once right yeah. now yeah it's like a change he used to work on one game at a time but now yeah. he's working like five at once i don't know if it'd be better or worse because you can kind of think about the other games that you're working on and like oh i figured out how to do this now and then jump back to that game mm. uh, the bonus is you won't get bored yeah because you have so much to work on yeah but it might be overwhelming maybe i can see see what i know exactly what my brain does in that situation where you have <laughs> yes. too many things you want to work on at once mm. whichever one you have the most pressure to do you will do anything but that one <laughs> that well, is how my brain works almost a good thing yeah <laughs> it's so like... it's like when i had to study for for exams my house was immaculate because I, I, I just kept looking around the house going, oh, that carpet's dirty. Oh, I got to clean that carpet. I got to do this. It's like everything but the thing I should be doing is I what my brain wants to focus on. I find I start it's cleaning the house. Pro when... Procrastination, 100%. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Things. <laughs> Detrain. When my brain has too much to do, it watches television. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. Cram it. Yeah, relatable. I, I just can't. I can't. I can't. Yeah. You, whatever you feel like you need to do, you're going to do the other thing. So Yeah. Yeah. And it's good if you can channel your energy into cleaning the house or to doing the dishes. Yes. Like that's what usually what I do is like, oh, I got to do this, but I'm going to procrastinate. Go yeah. clean the house. Yeah. I'll suddenly I come home Organize from work. I'm papers. like, the house looks really nice. James is procrastinating <laughs> doing something. Yeah. Yeah. Time to rearrange the office. Like all of a sudden I do all my filing oh. all at once at the office because yes. it's like, oh, I don't want to do it, do this. I'm going to organize everything. So coming up on the show, uh, uh, there's an After Dark probably just during this week. I can't remember when that ends, but it's Scooternia. I definitely meant that's going to be a lot of fun. It's a crazy game. Um, the next episode, I don't know what it is going to be. There's a couple 7800 games. I might do a 7800 show next. But I also want to do Pong Wars, but I don't have enough 2600 games to add that in. So that might be bumped to next Friday because that's Thomas Yench's game and he's in Europe. So I have to do it on an early day. Okay. So it's going to be a Friday. Uh, developer Spotlight, Steve Englehart. Um, I need to do that pretty soon. So okay. I'm going to get in contact with him and okay. arrange that. Nice. Um, for this month, maybe later in the month. Um, I definitely want to start doing some, I think all the 10 liner contest entries are out. Mm. Uh, is that, is, is Vitoko in here today? I don't, I don't know. Don't, right? didn't see his name. I might've seen Vitoko earlier. Yeah. Um, I'll have yeah. to check on that. So that might be scheduled very soon. Nice. Okay. Because there's a bunch to play, but I have to fix my 800 XL first. Damn it. But I want to play, make my game. My game is my my hundred percent focus right now. <laughs> yeah, because I'm so close to getting yeah. it done. Until you get really it. close to getting it done, then you'll do anything but. But that's okay. yeah, yeah, that's how it works. <laughs> um, and a secret homebrew from Champ Games in May. Nice, exclusive world premiere and an interview with uh, Ch John Champo. Uh, oh, yeah, secret homebrew. Fortieth anniversary of the seventy eight hundred. We're gonna be playing all those games. Oh, nice. Yeah, uh, on I like some after darks. Yeah, I think there's fifty nine games. Fifty nine. Okay. Oh yeah, fifty nine games. Are we at? Oh. So it's three days of that. Sorry, excuse uh, me. Developer yards. spotlight on Lawrence Stavely from Reboot. Mm -hmm. He has an extensive history of games, so we'll have to do a selection. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely on that one, and list them out and do a selection. And developer spotlighting Chris Walton uh, later in the year. Uh, I'll have to touch base with him. Mm. See how he's doing with Zevius and um, Boom as well. Hopefully he's, he's working on Zevius. That one's so good. Oh my god. I'm looking forward to the 7800 playthrough as well because there's so many games I haven't... Classic games because I just play Homebrew. Mm. So many classic 7800 games I have not played. Um, and a lot of them are arcade games, yeah. arcade conversions. So that'll cool. be really, really fun. Yeah, it's nice to play games you haven't played before. So uh, Daylight savings time is never going away. No. It, It's getting closer here. Well, Canada has basically said, well, we're not doing anything until the U.S. does something. Until the West Coast does, because we are aligned with the West Coast. Well, I just feel like that's a cop-out, because <laughs> if we changed it, then maybe the people down south would. Like, come on. Yeah, you know, know, someone just needs to kickstart that whole thing. But anyway. <laughs> and I would like to do the tabletop game special soon as well. Bring all the tabletop games down. Oh, yeah. 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 I'll have to try, set up the camera and mm. see how they look. I bet I could get them pretty good. It's just, it's going to be like the camera it's has to be pointed down. You'll have to have the camera like 
pointed in a like rig right or something. Here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. How are we going to do that? I think we're going to have to look through the viewfinder or look at it on the television and play it like that and not look at the screen, but look to the feed mm. from the camera, which is totally doable. Yeah, that should be fine. Because I remember with the Vectrex, did we play it off the screen or did we play it off the Vectrex? Because we couldn't really see the Vectrex. Mm. I can't remember. Yeah. Kickstarter. <laughs> Woo! Kickstarter, Kickstarter project. Oh, Vitoko is here. Uh... Uh, I was the whole show trying to pack my new tan liner. <laughs> there you go. When is the deadline? I think you said it was this Sunday, hmm. right, Fatoko? I think it's this weekend is the deadline for that. Because I think he said some one of the Sundays, and obviously it wasn't last Sunday because he's still working on it. <laughs> the T train. This weekend. Okay. <laughs> what do you say? Better, better uh, a GoFundMe because you can keep uh, the money if the campaign yeah. fails. Yeah. Yeah, you don't need to show a working prototype with On GoFundMe? GoFundMe. Well, it's Kickstarter just, you do. It's just give me money, right? GoFundMe. There's yep. no yeah. It's like you get you can get nothing. We can get nothing yeah. on either of them too. Um yeah, I gotta it's a four player special as well. I can do that. Um I have to figure out when Atari Age's twenty fifth anniversary is. Cause there's a whole bunch of possible start dates because i've seen 2001 oh i see it's like when the when the website came online i think like oh. they named it atari age so i might hold it in 2026 okay cool that's uh, cool so that's really years. thinking thinking ahead well look yeah. 2027 <laughs> it's the 5200 45th anniversary very, i think way you. ahead very, that's three very years far ahead yes. three years in the future um but i'll have to ask al what when he considers Atari Age to start because before Atari Age it was named something else, but it was kind of Atari Age at the same time. I don't know. A uh, bunch of After Darks um, to fill in stuff. Oh, they're all talking about DST. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we'll get there eventually. Uh, we will one of these years. Yeah. That'd be so nice. Something like 20 years ago. Yeah, it's around 20 years ago. So, or I think I'll, Indiana I'll adopting DST. I oh, think it's, that they did 20 years yes, ago? Yeah. Both things were 20 years yeah. ago. Yeah. Um, there's some towns in BC that don't switch up north. Are they they're associated? The, oh, yes. Yeah, up north. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they're just like, no. We don't care. We don't care. We're doing our own thing. And there's ones that are on the border that also don't do it because they're kind of in between... I, but I feel and like British Columbia. It's worse because if you're changing, but then you're doing business with other then it's, states then and it's provinces, confusing. it just confuses everyone what time you're in. It, it it's almost better if everyone does or everyone doesn't. And right now, I wish everyone just made the decision to not <laughs> do it anymore. You know? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It gets all chaotic. It would be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Atari Age began in May 1998 with the name Atari 2600 Nexus. Ah, interesting. So Atari 2600 Nexus started in 1998. Okay, but the actual Atari Age. Proto Atari Age. Yeah. And that's Atari Age's continuation of that. Um, well, that would be last year. <laughs> would be the anniversary of 1998. But when did they change the name to Atari Age? That's kind of the question. Ask Al. Yeah, I would know. I will know. I think it was two thousand or two thousand one. Yeah. In early two thousand one, the sign word was site. This is right. He copied this. Yeah. <laughs> it was redesigned from the ground up. It was then relaunched as Atari Age April two thousand one. There you go. So twenty twenty six would be appropriate. There you go. In April. There you go. And um, what do I have written down? Yeah, twenty twenty six. Yeah, April 1st. There you go. April 1st. So maybe you had that already. <laughs> I did. See? Yeah, excellent. I did my research there. 2026, April 1st. The about page on AA. There you yeah. go. <laughs> I must have Didn't have to go too far. I must have referenced that nice. at some point. So I'll keep it as that. Okay, big party 2026, everyone. I'll be done with all my but, tests. Well, by good then. job. Excellent. Oh. We can travel at that point. I joined AA in 2004. Wow, yeah, wow. VVG. Early, early. So what will be the April 1st homebrew announcement? Hmm. Oh, there is April first. Maybe I should release my game on April first. Oh, <laughs> is that what you what you were planning to do? No. <laughs> and then just go. Just kidding. I didn't make any game. <laughs> I was just leading everyone on. I was yeah. just pretending to make a game. Yeah. Ah, great joke, huh? Yeah. Uh, Lying to me too. 
Yeah. Wait, what, what were you doing the whole time you were in your office saying, no, I can't do it. I'm working on I was on showing my you somebody game. else's game. Ah, oh, I see. Old I iterations see. of somebody <laughs> else's game. <laughs> nice. I just keep like bringing up new old binaries from somebody else's progress <laughs> and showing her and saying it's my like, game oh, and some wow. random random assembly code because you've never done assembly right i've never done it could be anyone's code, code. <laughs> see it's so perfect uh, yeah. what do you mean secret family <laughs> april fools yeah yeah night rider 2600 is the april 1st release yeah oh. night trap for the 2600 oh, okay which is now that we have full motion video night trap is not impossible mm -hmm. Dragon's Lair is not impossible. Space Ace is not impossible now. Mm. So they could be done. I mean, Night Trap's a little different, but CD add-on for that <laughs> one. No, you can put them on SD cards on the 2600 and have them huge. Oh, that's true. Huge movies, like gigs. Mm. They're massive. Yeah. Um, I think we're done. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll definitely be back on Friday. OCD oh, players more authentic. Supercharger works with a CD. Oh, well, you could just play a CD on the side. Mm. <laughs> um, so thanks for hanging out with us tonight, everyone. It was a lot of fun. Uh, D Train, Double Down, Gamma Dev, Captain Classic, RC70, Splendid Nut. Thank you so much for your updates to your awesome games. Um, looking forward to playing them again on the show. Uh, let's see who else. Vitoko, Ground Trooper. Dan AVC, um, Carl G, Nostalgic, who else, who else, uh, Pseudo Graphics, Mark Johannes, um, Miss Command, say, yeah. it's Kev, Bachman, That's and everybody nice. else who was lurking. And the cats who are fighting each other right now. Oh, let's go to cat cam. They're going to stop. Of course they will. Just don't talk to them. They'll keep fighting. <laughs> Prime time fights. Yeah. Oh, now it's over. Uh, it's off camera. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> fluffy fighting. Yes. Build a little ring. A yeah, little oh ring my goodness, there. yeah. They don't fight too often, though. No, Not they just kind of go time. smack, smack, and then they get Usually over Usually they it. fight before their dinner, before we go to bed. Yeah, they That's get irritable. The... They get hungry and irritable, and they start fighting with each other. Um, <laughs> yeah. Sell pay-per-view tickets. Two cats enter. One cat. Yeah. Oh. Fur fighters. There we go. Everybody was kitty fighting. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> so nice. Funny. Okay, we're done. Uh, we're going to see you on Friday. Uh, presumably, it's Darcy's day. Yeah. If he's available. If not, it's her again. All right. <laughs> so we'll see you on Friday, right. everybody. Uh, have a great week. Bye-bye.